Good morning. Hello, hello everyone. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream, guys. And yeah, we are back with the Clash Masters. Oh my god, this playoff. It's starting today and actually Sunday we will find out which second team gonna get a golden ticket. Right now we know X team has that golden ticket and we have some amazing teams in the playoff. I actually gonna show you the bracket because as you can see on the screen, the, pre uh, the war hasn't been spun yet. So uh, first of all, I gonna set up the predictions and the second, we will look at the bracket. So we will have like two groups, all right? I will explain it in a second, but let's start first prediction. So we have Queen Walkers, Stephanie versus Strat. And let's put it on 30 minutes because I'm not sure how soon they're gonna spin. Hi, Apollo, Migo, Daniel, Snow, welcome guys over on YouTube. We have Horsey, Widman. So, Vic, good morning, John. We're gonna sit here for seven minutes. Exactly, you got it, John. Uh, to new, Mac. Welcome, welcome, guys. So, uh, yeah, let's look at the bracket situation. Let me explain you how this is actually working. Let me, uh, I'm gonna do some uh, miracles here. Uh, here you go. All right, so, guys, we have two groups. Today, playing the group A. And the group A is Quivoker Stephanie versus Strat, MS Esport versus Markus Gaming. So this is these four teams are playing in the double elimination bracket, and only two teams can advance to the final day. So uh, it's actually like so winner of this wars will advance kind of like to semi-final, and winner of this war here will get the spot. I have actually a little bit better uh, bracket to show, like uh, this. So you can see from these four teams, only two teams will be played in the, the final day. I don't know, like, who will be like, this is crazy, like, we will cast Strat MS is for Marcus Gaming. Yeah, that first war, we will cast versus Strat, like, one of them will be in that uh, lower bracket, in that, uh, you know, scary situation there. Like, I, I cannot imagine who will be there. Is this gonna be Queen Walkers or this is this gonna be Strat? I'm, uh, I just really don't know. Thank you very much, Mick. Thank you, thank you for nine months. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Let me get some hype in the chat for you. So we will be using the clean fit because we will have the player cams. And I'm sure you want to see your favorite uh, player on the screen. So we will be using the player cams. But now let me show you also the group B. So tomorrow we will have Batang, Vanguard Gaming, Cutie Fan and Badzinga. Is they gonna have same situation? Only two teams can advance uh, to uh, the final day. And yeah, the finals. Four teams. So today we're gonna find out which two teams will be uh, playing in the final for that golden ticket. I don't know what is your prediction. If you are asking also about the prize pool, I can tell you like uh, this is the prize pool from the first to eighth place. But the first place is the ten thousand uh, dollars, and of course that second golden ticket. So cannot wait. I'm very excited, and yeah. It's gonna be a great day, and as you can see on the screen, the guys just spoon, so we should be not far away from uh, the first uh, hit. Oh, Mick, thank you very much for gifting sub. Thank you, thank you very much, Mick. Thank you very much for support. Hi, Kofta. Hello. <laughs> Are you going all in for the Kmiwokers? Yeah, we can spam. I don't know if guys are uh, following Gaku, but you guys can spam uh, Gaku emote. So I am in this one. I wish Kmiwok uh, has the best of luck. I will be cheating for them. And yeah, so you guys can already vote. We will see uh, how soon we will be alive. But and that's the situation about the groups. And yeah, I, I have kind of feeling that the group A is so stuck. Is it just me? Why that group A looks so scary? 
Like in the group A, you have New Walkers, Strat, MS Esports, Marcus Gaming. Okay. And in uh, group B, you have Tank, Vanguard Gaming, Qtifan, and Bazinga. Is it the position of the bracket? Uh, I guess so. Like if you finish as the first. On the top, you will be facing the someone who uh, finished uh, in the lower bracket. So, for example, group A. Just giving example, you know, Strat gonna finish in that upper bracket as the first, and someone who gonna finish in the lower brackets from the group B gonna be facing Strat. I think so. That's how it was working the last time. I know I'm. I don't. I'm not sure. Like 100 percent should they are using the same system, but the last time it was like that. So yeah. But I don't see like the huge uh you know disadvantage there yeah the uh, group a feels like is oh my it's so brutal mm -hmm. hi castiel hello your community is fun but i think so uh, strat is more open in this war i don't know didn't strat a won last time when they were playing uh, when they were playing against Queen Walkers. Migo saying that both teams are prepared for this uh, match. We can see some excellent base building. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, <laughs> what is it? I, when I saw the bracket, I was like, no way. How? Why? <laughs> you know? You don't want to see these uh, two teams fighting each other that early, you know? This this would be like kind of like semi-final or final match in the playoff. Something like that. You feeling that's gonna be like a perfect war? You cannot join the clan? I think I can, but they will be using the player camps. So that's why I'm using the clean feed so we can also see the player camps. I will have to figure out where I can put my face when we're gonna be watching the attacks, but yeah. Hi, Jandri, welcome from uh, Philippines. Ads, hello. All right, so I can uh, put some stuff on this screen. As you can see, they were explaining uh, the stuff between how everything worked together. You know, when we have like so many qualifiers and uh, I was explaining you how the group stage in the playoffs work. So only two teams from, uh, from each group can advance to the final team. And the finals will be single elimination, but uh, semi-finals and finals are both best of two. So it is like single elimination bracket, but we have best of two more. So, you know, still very important. Now you can see the price for each uh, place, but I think so everyone is aiming for the golden ticket so they can play in the world championship you know that's the oh my face was missing that's the goal that's what they want op golden ticket so we already know x team is waiting there they already got the golden ticket from queso cup and sunday we will see we're gonna uh join them we already know eight teams which are left and today we will see which six teams will be left so yeah so this uh, playoff group A is double elimination bracket. All four teams are starting from the double uh, top bracket and they can get a, a kind of like a second shot in the lower bracket, but only two teams can advance. So yeah. Yeah, they already spawned. Yes, they did. Uh-huh. When is the first hit? I'm not in the clan, so I cannot really tell you. But I don't think so we are far away. I would say the maximum five minutes. Maybe even less, because they spoon not long time ago. Hi, Futter, hello. Oh, Mick. Mick doesn't even know. Mick going for the voting. I see. I see. Hi, Ronit. Really, I do remember you. Of course I do. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, maybe I will ask Gregor if he can in the future add like the time 
of the water left on this uh, overlay so we could actually see how far we are because right now we just can see uh they spoon the war you know so yeah. i can show you the bracket of today so we we should be streaming five wars i hope so you are ready for that five wars so it's quite a long day uh, but shouldn't be much time between the wars because when the first war start, you know, second war will be already in the prep. So first war is Queen Walker Stephanie versus Strat, and after that we have MS Esport will be facing Marcus Gaming. And from that group A, only two teams can advance to that final day. We will see who will be. But yeah, brutal uh, group A, seriously brutal. No, or horsey, I will not. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> By the YouTube, thank you very much for joining me. I hope so you are excited like how I am. Uh, this is the first day of the playoff for that golden ticket, guys. Hi, Ayan, hello. All right, so the attack start in the six minutes. I can see it right now. In six minutes, we have the first hit, so we still have a few minutes left. Can you hear the clicking? Like, because I'm clicking between the screens. Uh, how bad is it? Because we are using all the stuff. Okay. I have so small Twitch chat. Can I make you bigger Twitch? Hold on. Let me see if I can make bigger Twitch. All right, YouTube will go there. We will go there. Uh, is that option like pop up the chat? Yes. Oh my God, Susie, you are so smart. All right, Twitch, you have to say something. Let me see if, you, if it's working. Twitch, talk to me. Talk to me, Twitch. <laughs> say hello to me, Twitch. Let's see. I wish I could show you guys my screen. It's it's like puzzle. <laughs> it's seriously like puzzle. I have so many windows open, put them together, and yeah, I have puzzle here. Oh, I see Lalo message. All right, which is working. Good morning, Lalo. Hello. So this is much better because I can properly see your messages now. <gasps> oh. Hi, Samson. Hello. If you ever wondered why we can't have nice things, it's because Susie breaks them. I didn't break anything. I am uh, innocent, Susie. Marcus Gaming is Indian team. Yes, they are Indian team. They will be playing after Kmiwoke Stephanie versus uh, Strat. So, yes. Oh, wow, Roma. Hi, Maxi. Hello. Welcome. Guys, you have like uh, four minutes left. Less than four minutes for uh voting so get the predictions in this is the big 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 day oh my god this is cool thing let me show you that oh wow this is cool thing you actually can see the roster this way oh look at them okay so gaku klaus kazuma that's not kazuma they have wrong picture <laughs> oh my god why they have statra with the kazuma name <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I was like, Kazuma looks very similar to Stadra. But yeah, that's Stadra. <laughs> yeah, that's not Kazuma. <laughs> oh, yeah, probably didn't have his picture with the hoodie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. No. No, Roma, I did not. When the match starts in less than 20 minutes, guys. Less than 20 minutes. Yeah. Kazuma needs to get his picture there. And now let's look at the roster for a strat. So we have us, Boom, Yo-Yo, Mask, and Try Hard, have I say. We will be using player cams, guys. So we're gonna see the player cams. Watching our favorite uh, players. <clears throat> Alright, let me uh, stop the prediction. So, right now, YouTube, 
76% voting for the Kmuoka Stephanie, 24% going with the Strat. I actually, YouTube, I thought that you guys gonna be like closer. It's gonna be like 60, 40 or, you know, opposite way. But I'm closing the prediction. So thank you very much, YouTube, for uh, voting. And Twitch, we have 35,000 Lalo going big here on Kmuokers. And we, oh my God. Oh my, hello. Over oh, going with the 111,000 channel points on Strat. But yeah, Twitch is very like 50 50 there. So yeah, the war will be starting in less than two minutes, guys. Yeah, less than two minutes. We are away from that frost heat. I cannot wait. It will be amazing. I think so. That is like kind of you have one body and you just put the uh, head on it. Because they all look like that. <laughs> it's like this one is like kind of Photoshop. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that it's a Photoshop pictures. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh, that's how you call it now, Kazudora. Oh, <laughs> uh, Kaz uh, Kazuma will be like, "Hey, but that's not me," <laughs> you know? Yeah, best of luck to both teams. This is huge. This is huge match, you know. Like any of this team who gonna get the win here, I can see them to get a spot in that final, you know. If that's gonna be Strat or Kmuokers, I wouldn't be surprised. Both very strong teams, so yeah, we will see. It's double elimination bracket, so the team which lose will be moved to the lower bracket and will have more war and long way to make it and get a spot in the final, okay? So yeah. So four teams, Strat, Kmuokers, but guys, we are live, so let's go. But I'm not using the f uh, player comes, okay. Anyway. Volume. Okay, I hope so. The volume. Can you hear the sound of the game? Okay. I think so. It's still so quiet. I'm gonna put myself somewhere. Uh... I don't think so. You need to see me, guys. All right. You don't need to see me, guys. On that one all right guys so we are starting with the first attack from kmivokas you can see that gaku is in and gaku was using the dragons all right so he is using the warden ability blimping the town hall queen is now dealing with the cc she's in the range of the two infernos we have one smart uh dragon rider on that multi inferno we have uh, another dragon. Wow, that's big zoom. Another dragon's going for that single inferno. I cannot really see the queen, but I think she's fine. He's using the right spell. Can we zoom out, please? Oh, here you go. There was looks like a wall was open, so we can grab the multi inferno. On the bottom side, we still have the king and one dragon left. He has the royal champion. Ars is uh, pushing with the uh, king. We are losing the king. Only Yak is alive. Now she has to fight the enemy queen, but with the queen. And yeah, Queen and the Royal Champion both has ability. We are using two free spells. We still have invisibility spell. Suddenly we didn't froze that scatter shot, but RC with the shield, guys. Boom, boom, boom. And it is first triple for Queen Walkers. Nicely done there. Oh, uh, Gaku starting strong there. GG. All right, let me ask the admin if they can put volume up because I cannot hear the sound of me. Oh, okay. Alright guys, I ask uh, admins, right now we can only use the clean feed, so all, yeah, no sound from the game, I know, I am trying. Uh, 
I'm asking. Let me see. If they can help. Susie, put your cell phone somewhere on the screen. But where? Hi, Celtic. Hello. Matt, welcome. Daniel, welcome, welcome as well. No, we, we are not alone. Uh, we can only use clean feet. They don't let us to join the clan uh, during this playoff, so... Don't worry, I ask uh, admins to put the volume up. You just have to be patient, guys. Alright, let's go. Another hit, this time we're going from uh, Strat. Yo-Yo is in. All right, you can see me here. I'm gonna make myself like baby small. All right, you can see me there. All good. Okay, let's work. Here we go. All right, so Yo Yo is in, coming in here with the Queen Charge Hybrid, starting with the Queen on the top side, where we are uh, using Yeti for the funnel, dropping the uh, free spell to freeze the Town Hall and especially also the CC. Let's see, Town Hall went down, like perfect timing because now Queen is distracted by Lava and the Town Hall is already gone, so even the healers are safe. So he's sending a bunch of the Coco Loons, even these Loons going for the Mortal. We are just uh, still dealing with the uh, Lava Pups here. Sending the Valks, even the help with the Funnel, so the Queen uh, will be start moving towards that single Inferno. There is a bunch of uh, Loons, and I haven't seen any single Black Airmine, but right now there was two Black Airmines, so nice value. We are starting with the Hybrid, we have the Hoggies and the Miners from the top side. There is the Tesla Farm in front of the uh, Warden Star. You. He was healing on the bottom side as there is scatter shot, but I don't think so. He has many uh, troops there, so most of his hybrid didn't get healed. Now the queen will be sniping that single inferno. Uh, miners and the hoggies are moving for the multi inferno. King is still keep going. Actually, King didn't stay outside of the base. He is pushing inside with the hybrid, so has to break the wall. But we are grabbing the eagle as well. Queen is pretty safe. She still has the ability, so with the ability, she will be able to survive. Now we are using the last heal spell from of the multi inferno from the spells he still have one freeze let's see rc still uh has the ability i would say it uh three star guys this is looking good he still have so many miners left royal champion with the shield boom 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 now she's gonna be sniping the uh scatter shot bomb tower going down as well so it is three star four strats of both teams you can see with the first triple gg how many matches today? Two, uh, sorry, five. Five matches today. Yeah. You like when Susie is not on the scene? Wow, John, toxic. Hi, Error, hello. So, like many of us was thinking, it's gonna be like perfect, perfect. I'm going with you. I really think that's gonna be like that, guys. I'm gonna be decide, even maybe with the time. Yeah. You know. You did? Thank you very much, Sal. Hi, Goody. <laughs> what is that prediction, Vic? I guess you're going with the Queen Walkers, am I right? <laughs> so we are kind of, uh, looks like five matches today, five matches tomorrow, and like million matches Sunday. Ayan, hello, hello. Alright, so we are waiting for the second hit from Queen Walkers. So we already have uh, Yoyo and Gaku with the hit, as you can see on the screen there. No, these are all best of one. Only the final day will be best of two. So today is everything best of one. 
but we are in the oh sorry for that we are in the double elimination bracket guys kazuma going in here and he will be using the queen charge lalo yeah i noticed that Vic. okay i did all right so we are starting first with the queen and the king haven't deployed the uh, healers yet i just hoping that king not gonna steal the healers from the queen so as you can see starting the log launcher then multi inferno went down pretty quickly and now we are just waiting for the log launcher to open the wall so we can even reach that second multi inferno we are opening the wall for that scatter shot now the healers are in as the king is gone so a uh, very patient with the healers letting the queen <coughs> sorry dealing with the lava that the rocket wow that was how many rockets balloon was that like that water rocket balloon it's looks like water rocket balloon finds so many air traps that was awesome the yetis died so so quickly sadly the yetis didn't go for that multi inferno and the multi inferno gonna stay up now i'm not sure how we gonna do this because i think so the queen will be start moving for the scatter shot yeah she's going this way i think so the queen going correct way i i think all what he want was uh the yeti snipe the multi inferno but they didn't you think that they she went the wrong way uh here's one more super wall breaker issue is now that he is uh spending so much time on the queen charge he has like one minute ten seconds left now she's fighting enemy rc and the ground scale is her health is so so low oh one minute left he has to start he will be ending on the town hall and it's sadly that multi inferno is still there that multi inferno has sweeper in front of it so that sweeper will be pushing we have big group of the loons going for the eagle but uh, we need to make sure this is safe two star like high percent two star i just don't think so we're gonna have enough time to hit the triple let's see loons go the eagle but i was saying that sweeper is still pushing them away now the royal champion with one group of the loons are clearing the nine o'clock corner and fighting the enemy queen but the uh, minions help rc that's awesome queen can now reach the town hall we have only 25 seconds actually the rc going for that multi inferno so that's huge help for his loons i think he has like enough to finish this base but he just doesn't have time because oh he was led with that invisibility spell rip that queen is gone boom 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 with the shield we are on 85 percent we have still like five seconds left come on kazuma get a little bit more 88 89 89 percent guys is the final percent for kazuma very nice try from him but we are hitting the first defense for the strat here oh thank you very much uh vr family that's mean a lot to me uh, Raumer, welcome from Philippines. Hello. Yeah, you guys are saying the queen went wrong way. Because they put the wrong picture, they jinx you. <laughs> wow. It's still, it's crazy how close. Like, honestly, if he wasn't led with that invisibility spell, that queen would survive. And it is definitely downfell, you know. But now, this attack giving opportunity for strat to take the lead that was 89 percent we'll see how the second hit from strat will go yeah all right let's go guys second hit from a strat we have try hard going in i love that a jersey guys I actually really enjoy this player comes. All right, so he's starting with the blizzard, but the super wizard, some of them hitting the tornado traps so went away from the invisibility spell. And now the rest of the super wizard were uh, staying in the poison, so they died. We got a town hall, sadly we didn't get a single inferno, but we were able to grab a few more uh, defenses. Hello? Oh, here we go. All right, that was weird. I have no control over the screen, guys, okay? So, <laughs> oh. so if there is funny stuff happening, it's not me. All right, so Queen dealing with the lava pups. Kazuma was nervous, yeah. 
This is very important right now, you know. They are so, so close, you know, playing for that golden ticket. So we are down to eight teams. Like, if they fail today, you know, they will be out. And I lost the chance for that golden ticket. So, yeah. It's a lot of pressure. Invisibility spell on RC. RC with the shield. Boom, boom, boom. She will get a multi inferno. Queen still has the ability. Uh, how many buildings or defense is gonna be hitting her? Only the multi inferno. That means she will break the wall and she can snipe it. Okay. So, Queen still can get very nice value. Now we are lulling from the 3 o'clock, uh, 9 o'clock side where we are using the wooden ability front of the scatter shot. Kind of uh, loons are ignoring the single inferno, but we have cleanup going for it. And the lava pups with the minions can overpower it. As you can see, Queen sniping that last uh, multi inferno. Now the loons are already over the eagle and clearing the air defense. We are looking pretty good. We are on 77% and I actually don't think so. This one will be defense. That's me try hard will hit a three star for strat and strat will take the lead in this war after two attacks very nice job from uh try hard g great hit nicely done What about if they lose? I can show you a bracket. So this is how it's working. So we uh, have four teams. This is group A. Tomorrow will be group B. So in the group A, the teams which lose, they will move to the lower bracket and they still have chance to get a spot in the final. So we have four teams in the group A and only two teams get spot in the final, okay? So we can get it from the upper bracket or the lower bracket, you know? Depends how your words will go, but if you're going to lose the first war, you will be playing uh, probably more, more wars, so... Yeah, and you're gonna have like a lot of uh, pressure on you, especially if you are the, in the lower bracket. Because lower bracket is single elimination. You lose, you are out. So yeah. And tomorrow will be uh, the Tank, Batzinger, uh, Vanguard Gaming and Cutie Fan. That's... Uh, the, oh my god. <laughs> That's uh, the group B. FJ, good morning to you. How are you doing? <laughs> you scared me. Hi, Soham. Hello. MCS doesn't exist anymore. When is the next match? Every uh, when is Marcus playing after this match? Yeah, when the teams will be like, it's like you can lose one war, but you cannot lose the second war. It does make sense. All right, guys, we coming in here with the third hit from Kmuvoke. Stars is in. Stars will be doing skeleton bad donut, and after that he will go with the kill squad Lalo. All right, so here we go. Skeletons on the clan castle, but on that multi inferno. All right, that's work nicely. So good start. Now, Lusa, we are going with the kill squad from the bottom side. I see the king there. We are finding few Teslas there. Uh, there's also, it looks like Ice Golem and a queen behind. Royal Champion there too as well. All right, so he's sending all heroes. Looks like the king and the Royal Champion. Uh, we'll be clearing that bottom compartment and letting the queen go for the town hall. We are using the golem. Which we can <laughs> Oh, the cameraman. Alright, fighting the enemy queen. We got it. Now that golem nicely tanking, you know, that ground expo. Soon the golem will be in the range of the single inferno. We will see how much more we can get with the uh, royal champion. Yeah, cam cameraman is OP. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, we zoom. Here we go. So, Queen taking down the town hall. Royal champion on the eagle with the slammer. Now, that's gonna be good by to Queen, but she got the value which we, which we needed. 
So everything is looking good so far. As you can see, fighting the enemy king, royal champion now catching up above the loons using the freeze over the inferno and the enemy arse with the wooden ability also. I believe we have a headhunters on the tomb so we should be good and now we are moving towards the scattershot slammer actually staying in the middle compartment looks like slammer will be following the big group of the loons on the top clean up looking good we still have big group of the minions and the lava pups and yeah in this stage it has to be three star rc with the shield boom 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 now the uh, sally the dragon rider tanking the single inferno he's using the invisibility spell you can see they are playing so so safe and making sure they're not losing any second because we saw the match is being decided by the time as well so very nice attack from stars that's mean Quivokers are two for three on triples but yeah, they are now under pressure, especially because they failed at one attack. We'll see how the third attack from Strat will go. Next match after this will be uh, Marcus Gaming versus MS Esport. Daniel saying, welcome FJ, I love when he turns up for what? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah you are enjoying when he's scaring me right great coffee exactly you missed the prediction karma for scaring me <laughs> i'm sorry fj you would be voting for the kimimokas right now they are in the trouble because that was 89 percent strat hasn't failed any attack yet hi said hello yeah guys don't be shy you can spam some emotes if you are a fan of strat if you are a fan of uh Kimwalkers, just spam some love for them in the chat they definitely deserve it guys this is big one it's playoff for the golden ticket and i hope so you are ready for the third attack from uh strat mask is in Which scoreboard is confusing? Alright, so Queen is now fighting the enemy king, snipe it easily, going for the eagle. Hi Tazim, hello. The pet combination yeah he's using uh lassie with the queen and unicorn uh with the rc rc already using the shield boom 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 that i don't know if she can even can clo get closer to the scatter shot because there is enemy queen and you can see rip the rc got a hit by scatter and now we have the log launcher keep going king is clearing the bottom side what we have dragon rider with the loons coming out sadly there is enemy queen still alive so the dragon rider is ripped uh, no chance against the enemy queen we are using the invisibility spell on his queen charge now dropping the poison on the super uh, minion queen is in the range of the single inferno so he using the invisibility spell but she was chasing the rocket balloon so she came out of that invisibility spell too early oh wow i actually thought that he gonna use the queen ability there but all good that queen ability is still there guys that was actually awesome now letting the king clearing all these uh defense oh sorry all these trash buildings around queen is moving towards the town hall using the nether raid spell something going on on the top side what we are doing there starting with the lalo using the uh haste and the freeze immediately water ability lot of traps and we are looking good guys strat going three for three here very nice attack from uh mask chi chi like the queen still has the ability no way look at how many loons we have it was kind of even like clean up lalo you just really uh lalo uh the top side of the base i like, have so many troops left 20 seconds should be enough and that's me and strat going three for three here and holding the lead against the Quimokers. Uh, thank you very much for our uh, uh, advice. 
but I'm gonna keep the stats uh, this way. I'm sorry. Oh, you drag it all uh, that green inside. I is trying to see everything what is happening. There. <laughs> oh, yeah, very good attack. GG, yeah. Now we have still Klaus and Yuta. They cannot fail. Like, seriously, Kyokis cannot fail the hit. You know? Will be insane if they can get one defense, but no way if they can get two defenses, you know? Hush, uh, the, the next war will be happening as this war is over. So we still have four hits left. They always lose against Strat. I actually don't know what is their uh, score against Strat from the past. They never been against them? I think so they've won a few times, no? But yeah, like, watching Strat and uh, Kingwalkers facing each other is like, it's really huge war, you know? Hi Mazar, hello. Alright guys, Klaus is in. So he coming in here with the Sui Lalo. Starting with the king and the queen using the headhunter for the enemy king here. We will be using the uh, log launcher. So king is already taking down the evil. That's awesome. Now we need the queen. I guess so. We will try to uh, push her towards that scatter shot and letting the log launcher to clear that multi inferno. Real champion coming now from the nine o'clock corner. We are using the ice golem tanking for the queen. One more hit on that, uh, wow, look at this, Log Launcher. Look at how easily that Log Launcher destroyed the Headhunters. Now, the enemy RC is gone. His real champion has to fight Ground Skelly. RC with the shield, boom, 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 sniping the Boulder Hat. Yetis are now coming out from the Log Launcher and just clearing some buildings in the middle compartment and actually distracting the lava. We already starting with the Lalo from the top side. You can see the Town Hall is activated. Real champion is still keep going, so she will be actually be able to grab a few more buildings. Now the Queen popping the lava, so she will be distracted. We have the poison for the lava pups so the, they should die pretty quickly we are using the wooden ability as the town hall going down lose are hitting the tornado trap front of that single inferno we can use the poison also on the enemy queen to slow her down because he has one poison left and freezing that scatter shot I still have plenty of spells i'm sure he's gonna use them really well here now the warden is a little bit slack in he's kind of behind so wolves are on their own but there's not many defenses and this is exactly what females needed another three star for them so three triples are in and that 89 percent two star females are still waiting if they are able to get a defense but very nice attack from klaus gg Yeah, super suey. Mm hmm I saw that super giant. What he did? I, I saw him on the bar, but I didn't see him when he sent him. Oh, they definitely... Uh, Faye, they definitely had the uh, flyers for it, you know? But I don't know. Now with the meta, it's kind of like any one game, you know? Oh, Rohit, I don't have only one favorite player. I have many. You would we also vote for the Kmewalkers? See, do you think, guys, they can get the defense? Like, Yuta has to triple. So, who we have? We have still Boom and Ast with the attacks. I don't know. They're amazing attackers. He tanked for the Royal Champion. Oh, that was smart. Nice. Yeah, in your dream, John. In your dream. No, he's not playing right now, Clash. Oh, patient. Yeah. Hi, team. Hello. Yeah, Strad is looking for the perfect world. So true. So, so true. All right, let's go, guys. Boom is in. So this is the fourth hit from Strat. All 
Alright, so we are blimping the top side. We are using the rage over the Yetis. They got the uh, scatter shot down, and of course, we pull the CC. Yeah, exactly. That. That's what they are waiting for, you know. They need to get the defense. Anything less than 89%, and Quilkers have chance. But how I say, boom and as with the attacks left, I just don't know if this can happen. Alright, so using actually the wizard to help Queen the pop the lava. Oh, thank you. Regal, you were faster than I do. I was about to uh, delay the message. Alright, now, King coming in. Queen's still on the top side, so he will try to sue the town hall. I really like how uh, pro players are using the skeletons, you know, it's actually pretty smart. Now, we are sending the royal champion. I think so she could uh, get a multi if she will go correct way. Oh my god, the king went outside of the base. That's not good. Rip the eyes. She will have to fight uh, on her own, the enemy king. Actually, the enemy king was this track. Now, gonna go for his uh, royal champion. Is any the headhunter, but the headhunter is in the in range of the multi inferno. So, rip uh, RC. Oh, she will not get the multi inferno. She's dying. That king betrayed her. Uh, you can see that while we are watching that, Queen already got the town hall. But now we have multi inferno left. So, he's sending like group of the loons going for it and with the haste spell. But there are some air traps. Is he gonna be able to get the multi inferno? No! And his loons are dying on the bottom side. Guys, this is the defense which Quimokers needed. And this is very important. How many percent he can get? He is on 78%. Let me remind you that hit from Kazuma was 89%. Wow! 30 seconds left. We still have more than left. We have the minions, so they're gonna be able to grab a few more buildings. We are on 83, 84. Not gonna be able to get anything more, guys. This is the defense which Quimokers need. Wow! And now, table change. Quimokers has person lead here. So, if Yuta hit a 3 star, it will be win for the Quimokers. Anything less than triple will give Strat opportunity to get the win. That Inferno, I blaming the king. I seriously, if the king didn't win outside of the base, royal champion would get a multi Inferno and it would be different a story. But now we got the defense, he hit 85% and that Kazuma hit was 89%. So yeah. That royal champion against the king, she has no chance. That was uh, very unlucky. He should save the uh, RC. Mm. And now, Yuta. Everything is in his hands. If Yuta triple, Kvivokers are advancing to the next round. It's not gonna be over yet, you know. They still have to win another war, but they're gonna stay in the top bracket. So, let's see if Yuta can do it. Yeah, 4% difference, but now it's about. So, so you are jinxing. I, <laughs> I see what you are doing. Oh my god, guys. We are live with the final hit for Kvimokers. Pressure on Yuta. If Yuta hit a triple, it's win for the Kmiwalkers. Anything less, Strat will have chance, guys. Let's go. Yuta coming in here with the Queen Charge Lalo. Queen Charge in from the top. Rusa, we will try to get the Queen. Where is that uh, multi Inferno? So he should be able to get both Infernos and, of course, the Town Hall. We are using the Flame Flinger from the 9 o'clock side. And King coming in from the top. Real champion goal is to get the scatter shots. You can see already if the King get the multi inferno, RC get the scatter. That's very nice value. And the flame flinger get the eagle. That's very important buildings which already will be down by these troops. Now Queen already got the multi. We pulled the CC with the Real champion, so he's using invisibility spell, letting her 
to take down the scatter shot so that's me in the cc event for the king he was able to get a multi inferno as well when he's targeting the town hall flame flinger is still keep going so still very nice value look at how much he already cleared with the heroes and the flame flinger but now queen is in the huge trouble she is front of the king in the poison of the town hall single inferno and the wooden statue is there so he has to use a bunch of spells if he wants to keep her alive as you can see she finally dealing with the king but that single inferno doing the damage she's now fighting that our uh, warden we are lulling from the top side uh, sorry bottom side imitate using the warden ability because there is the tesla farm now the flame flinger pops so we have rocket balloons with the dragon rider coming out we still have over one minute left freezing again so, uh, actually spending all these spells on the queen but it is worth it guys it will be triple for Utah and Kmimokers are getting win against Strat. Wow, what a comeback for them. They were under pressure all war and they got it. You can imagine how important this hit was from Utah. Wow, very nice job from him. And yeah, congratulations Kmimokers are advancing to the next round they're gonna be staying in the top bracket i can show you the bracket on the screen they will be playing again uh, today guys we are actually covering five wars today today we will find out which two teams from these four teams gonna get a spot in the final but yeah wow that means strat will be moving to the lower bracket where they're gonna get a second chance there they will be waiting for the opponent are they gonna be facing ms esport or marcos gaming but wow that's some love <laughs> that's no way that was crazy that was so much pressure on him and that was beautiful attack you know like seriously very nice value of the heroes queen charge that flame flinger everything was perfect wow so you guys gonna see playing your favorite teams Playing actually more than once today. Alright, so we are waiting for the final attack from Strat. And after this, guys, we are moving to the second war. This one will be between a Marcos Gaming and MS Esports. Wiener will be facing Kmiwokers and the team which lose will be facing a Strat in that lower bracket. Yeah, but the Kmimokers are still not there yet, guys. They still can look like they have to win one more war in the top bracket. If they win the war, one more war, they're gonna get spot in the final. And Strat still can get the spot, guys. It's just gonna be fighting in that lower bracket where is the single elimination. But let's go, guys. As is in, and he will be using strategic queen charge dragon riders. He actually bringing some zap spells. Just because of that invisibility, yeah. One small mistake. I know. And that's all about, you know, like when this kind of uh, teams are meeting each other, you know, only one small mistake can decide all war, you know. Hi, Gazi, hello. No, I don't think so you can like blame just one player, you know, like, okay, like one player failed the attack, but you have to also look at the previous wars, that player could carry the war in the previous, you know, it's always like you are playing like team, winning like team and losing like team, you know, sometimes you have good war, sometimes you don't have good war, you know, so, you guys, you cannot just blame one guy, that's not fair. Like, they're human, you know? They can fail the hits. Alright, so King is clearing the top. Fighting the enemy King. I'm not sure we can get the Eagle, because that King is quite low health. Yep, Eagle gonna stay up. Queen is still on the bottom side. 
And now we are going with the dragons from the 9 o'clock corner. We have some rocket balloons. There's some of the uh, enemy super minions alive. So we need these dragons to take care of them. Now the two dragon riders, even three, going to snipe the eagles of all good. Real champion shield was used. We are kind of fighting away from the multi inferno. So we didn't get it yet. Now queen is fighting the enemy queen here. We still have over one minute left. So we are down to like, what, three dragons on the top, one dragon on the bottom. I'm sure there are gonna be still some air traps around that multi inferno using the invisibility spell on dragon rider so they will be sniping that scatter shot 45 seconds left if the queen will be on the no she going actually around the dragon rider hitting the black airman he's using another invisibility spell so we are getting that multi inferno and this me wow there was so many spring trap by the way uh we are using yeah, we are hitting the triple. So nice try, uh, nice job from us and nice try from Strat, guys. They're just losing on the pass and this war was insane, you know. It was so, so close. So, guys, get some love for the both teams. Kmivoker, Stephanie and Strat meeting each other in the day one of the playoffs of the Clash of Master. But as you can see, Kmivokers were able to get the win against Strat. In that first round, 14 to 14, but Kmivokers with the percent lead, 97.80% for them, 97% for Strat. So how I was saying, Strat is now moving to the lower bracket and Kmivokers are staying in the top bracket. The second match, we will be now live with the MS Esport versus Marcos Gaming. This is the next war which we are streaming. So I'm gonna start a new prediction. <clears throat> let's start a new prediction let's see yeah this one was amazing match i knew it i actually can also show it this way as they are showing that see so quimokas needs to win one more war if they don't they will be moving to the lower bracket you know so yeah we will see who they will be facing. That's MS Esports or Marcus Gaming. Do you remember, guys, when we were streaming Kmivokers versus uh, Marcus Gaming? Uh, no, MS Esports. That was an insane war. Oh my god. Do you remember that? This was win by like time. All right, Marcus Gaming versus MS Esports. All right, guys, we can vote over on YouTube. Let me fix the Twitch. Oh yeah, guys, don't, don't, don't read the uh, like, toxic uh, comments, uh, my moderator is going to delay them. Ignore that, guys. Like, some people don't understand how hard, like, you know, it's so easy to complain and saying, oh, this player failed because blah, 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 blah. But try to play, try, guys. Try to be under that pressure and everything, you know? Alright, so what I'm doing? Uh, Marcos Gaming versus ms esport i actually don't know how far we are from the uh, screen so i'm gonna put it on the screen and let me change the titles okay how many more four more four more wars guys yeah it's a long day five wars each day guys all right, so M S Esport versus Marcos Gaming. Is it Marcos Gaming or Marcos Esport? I don't want to call them like wrong way. Anyone knows?
all right all right guys i think so we set up everything everything should be good so yeah it's ms uh, yeah ms is for workers guys have the same sponsor exactly yeah the statra is playing the older games now but guys we can look at the lineup uh regal could i ask you for the changing uh the stats the clan tags are in the moder moderator room but you can see ms is for alec ariam kingsman nacho and seeing that this is the uh lineup of for ms esport yeah that's uh, fluto that's what i was saying like it's two different teams oh i don't want to you know <laughs> then i can still see your uh, smile thank you Gusta. thank you uh five minutes five minutes guys from the first attack yeah we still have five minutes away mm -hmm. so it's ms esport versus marcos guys and let's look at the lineup for Marcus Gaming. So we have 11, Alfonso, God, Neru, Grim, and Master Atif. This is the lineup for Marcus Gaming. So second match of the group A. And the winner of this match will be facing a Kimimokers. And the team which lose will move to the lower bracket where they will be facing Strat. So I don't know, like... <laughs> it's not like win-win, you know? You, it's, this will be like not easy at all. Thank you very much, Rego. Thank you. Oh. So you could see uh, the lineup for the both teams. Yes, Clasher. MSG Sport has same sponsor like Miwakers. There is chance they will be facing each other. I love it that you can now see if the people are, have you on mute or they don't see uh, the video. Thank you very much, Noob. Thank you <laughs> for seven months. Thank you very much. Yeah, new prediction started. Thank you, Noob. Thank you. You are actually, uh, you cannot even see it, but thank you very much for the sub. Yeah, something like that, son. Yeah, like you win, you're facing Kvimokers, you lose, you're facing Strat. I don't know. <laughs> like, what is better? I'm guessing if you're gonna stay in the top bracket, you know? Yeah. Oh, you can see? It's actually saying, like, watching without video, you know? Yeah. I don't know, Rohit. I don't know. Hi, Samit. Hello. Yeah, Marcos is from India. Exactly. Marcos is Indian team. Guys, three minutes away. All right. Not far away. How I was saying, uh, what is awesome? There is not much uh, time between the wars, so that's cool. Nelson, thank you very much for the donation over on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you. Let me spam some hype and love there. Thank you very much. Party time now, everyone muted. Wow. Junior being so mean to me is insane. Why? Why so mean? Uh, Bahadi, you have to actually ask Sal. I cannot do that now. I'm sorry. You are in the Czech Republic? Oh, nice. Do you like it? It should be like beautiful weather there. PK, thank you very much. My god, PK is like uh, supporting me for a long time. Thank you very much, PK. How are you doing? Oh. 
Shi Kong Ying Wa Yuan Y Y D S less than three less than three. Nelson, thank you very much for the donation. Thank you, thank you. I just don't understand what did you say, but thank you very much for donation. Thank you very much, Rego. Yeah, I'm living in the Dublin. Yes, I do. Guys, 40 seconds. Closing prediction because after that, I have no time. So, YouTube, 70% with the um, MS Esports, 30% voting for the Marcus Gaming. Over on Twitch, we have 10,000 channel points from Lalo on Marcus Gaming and 50,000 channel points from Omar on MS Esports. Omar, how many channel points do you have? You have to lose the channel points, the previous one, right? Yeah, new because you are being mean to me all the time, so of course. Yeah, you are in the group like John, so that's not good group, I can tell you. Yeah. You don't want to be in that group. No, Strat is in the lower bracket. It's double elimination bracket, so they will be playing in that lower bracket. If they lose one more war, they will be out. Oh, wow, Omar. That's, I, wow. <laughs> I don't ever think that someone even had that many channel points like you. All right, guys, let's go. We are starting with the hit from Sinte. All right, so guys, this one is second match of Group A, MS Esports versus Marcus Gaming. So winner will be facing Quimoker Stephanie in the top bracket and the team which lose will move to the lower bracket where they will be facing Strat. Now, we are starting with the hit from Sinte. Sinte is coming actually with the loons. Okay, we will be not using the Lalo. And I think we still will be doing the Skeleton Donut. He's aiming for the Multi Inferno and the Clan Castle. And he's using the Flame Flinger at the 6 o'clock where he can snipe that scatter shot. So we got the Clan Castle, we got the Multi Inferno and even the Sweeper. So nice value from uh, that Skeleton Donut. Now, as you can see, that Flame Flinger already got the scatter. So that's pretty fast. And we are starting with the Sui. We are using the Yeti and immediately deploying some loons because there was few Teslas. Now we are using the Ice Golem tanking for the Queen. King is joining as well. Using the Dragon Rider, actually sniping that Arch Tower to making sure the Queen is not going around the base. King is just funneling the other side. So very nice funnel. Royal Champion just sniping the Archer type of Flame Flinger still keep going. Queen going for the Town Hall with the ability she will get it. Oh, did RC can get it? RC with the shield, boom boom boom. Single Inferno is gone. Now we are starting with the Lalo. Headhunters are on the tomb, so enemy queen will be gone as well. Now we have some group of the loons trying to go for that expo, and all of them are moving back for the scatter. He's using a freeze over the scatter shot and the visit tower. Rip the warden, hitting the black air mine. So we are losing the warden here. Now we are freezing the Tesla with the eagle and the air defense. He still have one haste spell left. He will be ending on the multi Inferno. Curious if he's gonna let the first group of the loons die or he will be hasting them looks like he gonna let them die so that's mean the second group of the loons needs to take down the multi inferno he is using that last spell sadly we don't have another free spell we are getting some split some of the loons are coming back for the cannon i don't know guys that multi inferno is pretty scary i don't think so he will have this no, we're going back for the uh, boulder hat and that's me. The multi inferno gonna stay up. The enemy king even gonna be distracting some his cleanup. You can see all these minions and the lava pups going for the enemy king. Enemy king will be standing maybe even front of the multi inferno. So we're gonna lose all this cleanup. And we are hitting high pets and two star. 
but it is first defense for Marcos Gaming. Very nice try from Sinte. He's on 96% and this will be final hit from uh, final percent from him. 96% is very high percent, you know, so there is still chance for MS Esport, but Marcos Gaming can be happy about that first defense. Hi CCM, hello. Uh, when I will bring back Spotter, I don't even think that I have it. You know? Oh, we are already starting, guys. Master Atif is in. So, we are coming in here with the dragons. We are bringing one close spell. <laughs> I, lo I love it that flyer comes. They're all together there, you know? You don't need to use like voice chat, you know? This is OP spotting, you know? This is actually awesome. All right, you can see we are already sniping the eagle. Big group of the loons being cloned over the town hall, but it was tornado trap. Plus, we have still two super minions alive. Now, he is using the uh, free spell. Only one dragon rider went for it. Still have to fight the enemy uh, queen here. We have the king and the queen clearing the bottom side of the base. We are pretty fast. We still have over two minutes that's awesome time real champion will be joining pretty soon he's sending her from six o'clock warden and the dragons are now chasing the enemy king as is on the visit tower he still have big group of the dragons on the top side that's mean master ati will hit a three star for marcus gaming and it's not just triple guys it's also very fast attack look at the time one minute 40 seconds we need to get like eight buildings down so we will be finishing something around one minute 30 seconds very nice fast hit so nice job from master ativ and you can see the guys are happy they are hitting their first triple and also have the lead against the ms esport you missed the quimokas war you can watch it back but uh, the quimokas will be playing again Uh, John Alex, hello. You don't know which person is attacking? <laughs> the, the person in the middle, he was attacking. OGDs, hello, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Hi, Anderson. Yeah, that hit, it was so, so fast. You can see what was it 1 minute 26 seconds that's insane very fast attack hi prano hello i'm good how are you i'm good i'm very excited you know like we are in the playoff and we're gonna find out uh, this weekend who will get a second golden ticket, so very excited. Alright, so we are waiting for the second hit from Marcus Gaming, um, oh, sorry, MS Esport. You can see that Sinte hit a 96% 2 star, so now the pressure is on MS Esport. How is going? Everything going well, thank you. I hope so. We are en enjoying the Czech Republic. Hi, Jones. Hello. Oh, no way. Newbie's still here. No way. The final will be Sunday. So today is group A. Tomorrow is group B. And final is Sunday. So final will be four teams. And they will be playing in actually in the best of two. So there's gonna be so many wars. So, uh, Sunday we will find out who will get a ticket. Alright, Alec is in. Alright, Alec coming in as well with the dragons. He will be using the zap spells to take down the one of the sweepers. And we also bring in one clone spell. Oh, 
All right, rage and the warden ability. So we catch that blame on the top, and we will be cloning there. We are hitting the tornado trap. We have to freeze the town hall. The tornado trap was perfect. Now the loon split. We didn't get the town hall. He has to freeze again. But the dragon rider really OP, sniping even the single inferno. So really good uh, reaction with the Alec there. Now we have some of the dragons are uh, in the range of the multi. You can see they are very low health, so he has to freeze. He still have over one minute, fifty seconds, and then now I think. The teams actually even have to go with some dragon attacks because it's not about the three stars. Most of the time, it's also about the time. So yeah, I think so. This was a good choice that uh, one of the MS Esports player is using the dragon hit. He has like one minute thirty second. He still have a royal champion. She's trying to help there. I hope so. We're gonna be good because the queen and us with the ability. How many defenses we have? Like the four buildings. I think so. We can do it. Come on, us with the shield. Boom, boom, boom. She going for the cannon, and after she will go for the last cannon. So this one is first three star for MS Esports. Very nice job from Alec. G. This is exactly what they need. No, uh, group A is like, guys, it's it's A like how they finish in the qualifiers. If you remember, we were we had few qualifiers before the playoff, and that's how they were split. So group A we have. Oh, I can actually uh, show you the bracket. Group A is the Quivoke, Strat, MS Esport, and Marcus Gaming. Group B is uh, Batang, Vanguard Gaming. Cutie fan and bad singer. Okay, it's not like lower bracket or toe bracket, it's just two groups, all right. And in this each group, we have double elimination bracket. From each group, only two teams can advance to the final, okay, for, uh, for the Sunday. So today, we will find out which two teams from group A will advance. Tomorrow, we will find out which two teams from group B will advance, and the final will be only from four teams. Does that make sense? I don't play the tournaments because I want to uh, stream the votes. Don't act. What do you mean? What do you mean don't act? I'm not acting. Oh, you are never here when I'm saying true. wow all right guys alfonso is in let's go second hit for marcus gaming how many wars five wars in the total this one is second war <clears throat> so we are a queen charging from the top nice cocoon that is actually two black air mines now the king uh, find the Tesla farm. We will be using the Queen Charge Lalo, letting the Queen dealing with the uh, King, and now he's sending the Super Woolbreaker. I think so. Oh my God! No way! That's I, for the second. I thought that Super Woolbreaker is gonna open the wall, like to give her access for the multi. Now the Super Woolbreaker should do it. All right, so she can actually reach the multi inferno on the top side. Royal Champion now trying to snipe the eagle. Oh, uh, sorry. Snipe the scatter shot and we are pulling the CC, dropping the poison and the free spell there. Alright, Queen is sniping the multi in the core. Now we are lulling. That one isn't activated. <gasps> oh my god, the warden ability was already used. I think so. The headhunter was on the warden. 
And now this loon's gonna get hit. Oh wow, look at how many loons are so low health. They're all gone. It is rip. And don't forget that hit from Sinte. This is big rip, guys. That warren ability was forced to use. And these loons had no chance over the town hall. He hit the black ermine. Oh wow. Yeah, the queen. I never understand the queen. Like she was on the wall and after she changed mine and she just made me just like, oh, that is visit time. I'm going for it, you know, and still breaking the wall. Wow. It was a black airmine which hit the warden. That's... Wow. 85%. That's much, much less a percent that hit from a synthet. So table change and now MS Esport has the percent lead here. Yeah, very nice try from Alfonso, but that's like no way he could recover, guys. You know, when that warden hit that black airmine using the warden ability, the loons die over the town hall and he lost all that huge group of the loons. So yeah, very nice try, but now we are in the uh, game when we are seeing 5 stars on the both sides, but MS is for now has the percentage. You can see that it was 96% from Sinte and then Alpha so he got 88%, so yeah. Susie. Yeah, the guys are making fun of me uh, using these commands. That's exactly what does that mean, Kokta, you know? I don't know. I, I miss it. I, I saw like there was so many loons front of the warden. I just don't get it how poor warden <laughs> hit the black air mines, you know? Yeah, Coco Warden, exactly. When the Kmimokers will play their next match after this one. If I am correctly. Actually, let me check. So, uh, after this hit, I will check it, but we are live. Alright, Nachoa is in. So, this one is third hit from MS Esport. Uh, Lalo, I think so. Everything will be this time. Yeah. I believe so. Everything will be playing like uh, like Friday, Saturday. They like this time, you know? And it's gonna be like so many wars because everything will be best of two, I think, in the final. So, yeah. Yeah, Swag Blim. Now let's see. Alright, so he's freezing a single Inferno. Yeah, and the Queen went in, I know. He will have to, like, kind of change the plan. Like, you never know with the Queen what she's doing. Alright, so we have the King and Icy on the top. Now he's sending the super wall breaker, so he kind of gonna get the queen. Alright, she can reach enemy queen and she can go for that multi inferno. If she go start moving the top side, not the, the, the lower side. I'm not sure which way, way she will go, but she has access for the multi inferno. He's starting already with the Lalo. Nah, queen going on the bottom side. So that means the loons will have to fight the sweeper, even if they decide to go for the multi. Let's see, right now they're on the tomb, but the multi inferno is so so scary. They are patting away. Real champion actually cannot see her, so I think so she's pushing with the uh, loons on the bottom side. Now we are raging front of the multi inferno at the six o'clock. So many loons are low health. Queen is joining them, so they're gonna meet each other there. As you can see, the king and with the minions clearing all these buildings. I still think that he can do it. Like he's using the invisibility spell on the loons for that scatter shot. Like real champion still has some health left. Loons are taking the damage, but as he could snipe it. 
I think so she can do it. Like, what a recovery from Nacho. Wow. Nicely done. It is actually second triple for MS Esport. Very nice job from Nacho. Wow. Nicely done. And you were asking, let me check what is exactly. So after this, we have winner of the first. Yeah, all right. So after this, the community workers will be playing against that uh, team which gonna win this war. Yeah. Loser. Okay. Okay. So after this match, it's Kmivokers versus the winner of this war. Lalo is just strong. Ah, he was also good, like, with the spells there, you know? Oh, you did, Mahadi? But you cannot really do anything, you know? You cannot, like, craft the gold or something. Oh, Savio, did you? I'm sorry. All right, guys, we are back live. Grim is in. So this one is third hit from Marcus Gaming. So let's see. Right now, Marcus Gaming with the one triple and one uh, two star high percent. And Grim will be using the E-Dragon strategy. You already can see it's finally in the 9 o'clock side with the queen and we have one early e-dragon at the 6 o'clock. We are using the war or then ability to also catch the blim as we will be blimbing the town hall. And of course two raid spells. Blim hitting the tornado trap. That's bad. That means that blim will not gonna make it and we need to get the town hall down with the heroes or even with the e-dragons. The loons weren't even able to snap that single inferno behind the town hall, so he's using the skeleton spells, good call there, to making sure the e-dragons can be saved by that single inferno god log on one of his. Now, big group of the dragons are moving towards the town hall, we are even deploying the royal champion there. Now he's freezing, we lost the queen, so we have only king and Arcy. On the bottom side, we have one lonely dragon. You can see there is the Tesla farm around the scattershot. Town hall went down, but Arcee is already low health, and especially she's standing in the poison, so she will be using the shield. Boom, boom, boom. Snapping the archer tower, going for the expo. I don't think so she can do it. No, guys, this one will be defense, and that's all, because we hit the tornado trap with that blim, and the blim didn't get the town hall. So now it's the over. In this attack, we'll see how much percent he can get. He has the free spell, so he decides to froze the scatter with the ground expo, so the king can grab few more buildings, but it is second defense for MS Esports. So now, not the MS Esports has the percent lead. But also they have one star lead, so they can feel a much much better here. Are they twins? Oh, I don't know. Are they? No, 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 no. I saw the uh, lineup for the Marcos. No, no, no. They are not twins. Oh my God, Tommy! I was watching that video like for two, three minutes. It's just like I got lost, you know. It was just so much information and I just couldn't keep up. Yeah, for now it looks like it's gonna be Marcus versus Kmiwoke. Sorry, uh, MS Esport versus Kmiwoke and Marcus versus Strat. But it's still early to say. Guys, we still have like uh, two attacks from each team, you know. Marcus still can come back. You never know. I don't think I cannot do anything about it because all I'm now using uh, clean feet, guys. So I don't. I'm not on my Clash of Clans account, so I'm sorry. I'm happy that we are able to stream <laughs> because if you see how my screens looks like, it's puzzle, and I'm just hoping my PC can handle it. You know. Yeah, John, if you are playing, play ranks, okay? So we can do it later. <laughs> it was such early uh, warden ability. I still think that Tornado Trap 
Even if he like used the wooden ability later, that blimp I still think wouldn't made it. The tornado trap just like s slowed down the blimp too much, you know. Maybe he was able to stab the a single inferno with the blimp, but couldn't get uh, next to the town hall. Oh, thank you very much, Kanan. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, hands free. <laughs> Oh, all right, guys. Kingsman is in fourth hit from MS Esport, and we're coming in here with the Queen Charge hybrid. Kingsman is amazing hybrid attacker. Alright, so we are sending the headhunter to help her with the king. It's just using the hook to pull the rest of the CC. So they're already dropping the poison on the headhunters and now I'm gonna be log on the lava. So he funnel like we uh, shouldn't be crazy. She should go in and take down the town hall. So that's look good. All right, town hall going down. Oh, and I think so. Did the healers got a hit by the black ermine on the loons? Got it. Because that was blade uh, airmine, but everything was like next to each other. Now we are using immediately wooden ability on hybrid and the royal champion. He's using the heal spell in the core of the base. It's actually very nice uh, heal spell there. Uh, Pekka with the wizard are clearing the top side. We have the king there as well. I hope so the Pekka with the wizard can get a scatter shot. Now we have big group of the miners sniping that last inferno. Real champion kind of chilling with the uh, queen here. We are using the freeze over the scatter shot and letting the uh, miners fighting the enemy queen. We are losing RC, but it looks like the also hoggies from the siege barrack are joining the PK with the king there. Yeah, he got it. One, oh, he lost one healer. Yeah, and the loon and the healer were so near each other when they find that black airmine. So I wasn't sure if he lost the healer or not. I'm not sure guys, like he's using the invisibility spell on the Pekka. I don't think so that Pekka is gonna be fast enough, but the warden is sniping it. So we got the eagle down, that's huge. But 21 seconds, uh oh, oh, time. And he cannot start the cleanup. Like because there is the archer tower on the top side, so he's using one uh, wizard there. It will be downfall for Kingsman, very nice try. But this is actually the second defense for Marcus Gaming. But still, uh, MS Esports should have the percent, guys. Because that one was what, 90? Let's check, let's go back on that screen. So how much we had? That was 96 and this one is 91. The hits from Marcos was 88 and 83%. So that's mean... Uh, MS Esport has like percents, you know, so they're still in the good situation. Uh, collaboration, uh, collaboration with Papa Mogambo. Oh, guys, come on, I'm small YouTuber, he's a huge one. Who don't want, you know, I'm, t I'm too small streamer for that. Yeah, it's still a good, it's still like high percent, you know. All right, we are back, guys, in the action. You can see Nero is in. Like, the Marcus Gaming needs to keep hitting the three-star. If they want to have chance, they need to keep hitting the three-star with the rest of the attack because they are quite uh, behind on the person as well. So we are blimping the town hall, starting with the dragons. So town hall went down. This time, no problem with the blimp. Uh, the dragon rider uh, find the tornado trap front of the single inferno. Now we have the king and the queen. 
at the nine o'clock corner. Big group of the loons still going for the eagle, but as you can see, that eagle also targeting his dragons. Now we find the Tesla farm on the top where we have the scatter shot. Dragons in the middle compartment are kind of cool, and this is scary. Because we still have two infernos and the rest of the troops is walking around. We have two more free spells. I don't know. Let's see. There is so many ground skellies. Of course, we are clearing the Tesla farm. Of course, we're pulling the CC. But letting the queen deal with it. She has the unicorn, so she will be fine there. Now, the king is clearing the top. Sniping that air defense. Real champion again going outside of the base. Alright, last lava pups going down. Now, which way the RC going? RC with the shield, boom, 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 sniping the boulder hut. She will get a multi inferno because she has help with the dragon rider. Queen is on the wall. She's stuck in the X bow. She will be forced to use the ability. Rip that was black air mine. So the, we are down to only king and the queen without abilities. Oh no. That single inferno being fixed. I don't know. He needs like miracle that single inferno will go for the archers. And Queen will be so so smart. Queen is not fast enough. The archers dying too quickly. Queen going for the boulder hat. That's mean goodbye to Queen. It is high pets and two star. But again, not a defense for MS Esport. Very nice try from Neru here. But three defenses for MS Esport. Wonder why they are on floor. Maybe they are like comfy to attack like that. Like each, like you have so many different players, some of them like, uh, you know, they're sitting like behind the desk, some of them like lying down on back, or you know, like I think so there's so many positions how you can play Clash, you know, <laughs> and depends like, you know, if you are comfy. Oh, Virak, thank you very much. Yeah, we already like, uh, getting close to like, 2200 so yeah it's awesome yeah i could do that daniel i have some ideas have i say when uh will it has to slow down because this weekend is busy with the clash master and then uh, from the next week I, i'm trying to sneak in some uh celebration wars and all the stuff hello you like my op old emotes loop so did you say anything to sell again why he sell it i don't know he can't play wow what he probably doing or he is at work one of these mm. Alright guys, so MS Esport has that one star lead here. You can see 10 star for MS Esport, 9 stars for Marcos Gaming. Now we are coming in here with the final attack. Ariam is in. How I say the winner of this war will be facing Queen Walkers in next. You can see like look at how Ariam is attacking, you know? What is this position? <laughs> like there is so many positions how you can play the clash, you know? Like everyone has <laughs> favorite position looks like. Oh. Alright, so we are coming for us with the heroes using the log launcher. Alright, log launcher will snipe the multi inferno. Now RC coming in from the top is using the skeleton spell to distract. We have enemy queen in that compartment. Log launcher pop, rocket balloon finding the uh, black airman, yet is are pulling the CC. I see with the shield, boom boom boom. Can she get a scatter shot before the CC will go to her? Yeah, she will get it. Okay, all good. Ariam <laughs> is in airplane mode position. <laughs> oh. I guess that is comfy, you know, for him. 
I still remember how Kari was attacking, you know, guys. But guys, here, the town hall just got activated. That means so many loot past the town hall. And now they have to go back. We already used the warden a bit. That can be situation that we're gonna lose all these loot over the town hall. They're going away. They actually, wow, okay. We lost just warden. He is healing immediately loons and he is fine. That was scary for the second. And actually, like, look at this. He is gonna steal 3 star. And that's mean area will hit the 3 star. Wow. Nicely done. That's mean MS Esport is advancing to the next round in the top bracket. They will be playing now against the queen walkers and marcus gaming is moving to the lower bracket where they will be facing strat nice attack nicely done gg you want to see the youtube versus twitch yeah many people are asking for it maybe i'm gonna do that so yeah I actually thought that he gonna lose everything over the town hall. That was crazy. This is big match, guys. Miwokers versus MS Esport. Marco still have chance, guys. They will be just now in that lower bracket against Strat, you know? So it will be Marcos versus Strat in the lower bracket and MS Esport versus Kmiwokers in the top bracket. So we will have three more wars. Three more wars, guys. The next one is Kmiwokers versus MS Esport. And let's go for that last hit. 11 is in. And we have a Blizzard Lalo. So we are sending the Blim. We will be Blizzard in there. Alright, Town Hall went down, Warden, Air Defense should go down as well, so Blizzard looking good. Hi Saitama, hello. Alright, good start. Alright, now letting the Queen. Dealing with the CC. My cat destroyed something. I could hear it. I did. Alright, so Ice is on her own. Queen going behind now. We have the Ice Golem tanking. Uh, super wall breaker. Oh, getting hit by opening that one wall so we can reach the single inferno. Ice Golem is still there. Alright, I will have to check it. Yeah, so, uh, Kat did something. I have to check it, sorry, after this hit. Alright, Dragon Riders on the Eagle. Oh, we are front of the multi inferno. This is not going in, guys. The loons are dropping too quickly. Very nice try from 11, but honestly, even if he 3 star. It wouldn't uh, change the uh, result of this war. So very nice try. You know, they're gonna ha have another big war. They will be facing Strat in the, the lower bracket, which will be single elimination. So actually, Strat versus uh, Marcus Gaming will be single elimination and only one team can advance, guys. So we will see by the next war will be now Quivoke Stephanie versus MS Esports. So get some love for a Marcus Gaming and MS Esport. Congratulations, MS Esport winning against Marcus Gaming 13-11. Uh, Hi, Nice 
Mighty, good morning. Yeah, good morning, good morning. Alright guys, here is the result. Now let me start a new prediction and let me find out my, what cats did. Because <laughs> I even could uh, hear it and I'm wearing the uh, headset. Alright, who will win? So this one will be Queen Walkers versus MS Esport. The last time we were streaming Queen Walkers versus MS Esport that war was crazy. Beside by the time you know that's how crazy it was you guys can see the uh, bracket which is updated so after final Kmiwoker Stephanie versus MS Esper is for and after that we will be moving to the strat versus Marcos gaming have I say only two teams can advance to the final so today we're gonna find out which two teams will be playing in uh, Sunday for that golden ticket so yeah Du, du, du. Congratulations for MS Esport guys who were uh, who you were voting. And now let's start a new one. I seriously don't know how far we are yet from that war because they will be just spinning right now. So who will win? And let's go. New workers. Stephanie versus MS Esports. I'm gonna put it on 30 minutes, but I'm sure it's gonna be much, much earlier. As we're gonna have uh, more time now, I'm gonna sh uh, show you all groups and explain you the playoff system. Just changing the title. I cannot type guys I'm in... <laughs> I'm making I'm making a mistake every time I type something all right let me check what my cats did okay because they did something creepy I could hear the noise Alright, I am back. Ah, oh, sorry for that. Now, as we are waiting, let me explain. Let me explain that bracketing. -y. They didn't break anything. I don't know what was that noise, but looks like they didn't break anything. So, not sure. Or I didn't find out anything. It's so, I don't know. All right. So this is the prize pool, guys. From the first 
to 8th place. So we can see the first place is the 10,000 plus the golden ticket. And after we have like 6,000, 3,000, 2,000, 1,500, 1,750 and 750. So uh, any of these teams going to get minimum 750. So how I was saying, the group A, this is the bracket for the group A. Let me see actually if it's updated on the website. Yeah, it is. So we already have the result uh, when the Queen Walkers... Why has like 15? Because Queen Walkers won on the percent. It's definitely the wrong one. It's 14 to 14 and I know that Queen Walkers won on the percent. MS Esport won against Varkos Gaming. So the next match which we are streaming is Queen Walker Stephanie versus MS Esport. The winner of this match, this match is very important. The winner of this match will get a spot in the final. Final is Sunday, all right? So winner of this match will get a spot in the final and the team which lose will be moving to the lower bracket here and that, uh, they will be facing winner of this world. Strat and Marcos Gaming is now in the single elimination bracket. So only one of these team can advance, you know? They are getting their second chance. We'll see if Strat will be in or Marcos Gaming. So this is the group A. Tomorrow we will be streaming Group B. This is what we will be covering tomorrow. But Tank versus Vanguard Gaming and Cutie Fan versus Bazinga. This will be same situation like today. Only two teams can advance to the final, and the final uh, match will be Sunday, where everything will be best of two. So both semi-finals will be best of two. I have to check if the final is actually uh, best of three. So there will be plenty of wars to uh, Sunday as well. So today five wars, tomorrow five wars, and the uh, grand final is Sunday. I hope so. This is making sense and help you understand the bracket system. And we are ten minutes away, guys. Ten minutes away from the first hit. There you can see they spawn and they are showing some attacks so I can uh, put you on the screen right now. Yeah. When is Strat versus Barcos after Queen Walker Stephanie versus MS Esport? Yeah, Rego, can you update the bracket? It's in the moderator room. They need to try better the next time. Oh. Uh, Oh, Nishan Dance doesn't exist anymore, my, uh, I mean, so. Hi, Brian, hello. What is your prediction for this one, guys? So we saw Kmiwokers and Strat that was 14 to 14, but the Kmiwokers got the first and win. What is your prediction for this? Like, how close do you think this war will be? Yeah, perfect. Thank you very much, Regal. Thank you. Uh, Sadra is just now playing Apex, guys. Yeah. Two golden ticket? No, one golden ticket. Devil today will be all matches from Group A. Tomorrow is Group B. So the group A matches are all today. So five matches. We are now moving for the third match. This match is very important because winner of this match will get the spot playing in the final, which is Sunday, for that golden ticket. Abin, that's welcome to the stream. So that's going to be only one golden ticket. So we have group A, four teams. Two can advance to the final. Group B, 
four teams. Two teams can advance to the final, and the final will be from four teams. Yeah. Yeah, that first war, uh, Kmilkers won on the percent. Come on, Namaste. And thank you, thank you. You are missing this uh, smashes from Stadra. Uh, let's be honest, Stadra was using uh, dragons for a while, you know? It was a while when we saw the Stadra smash. Like, he switched to the dragons. Yeah, if they, when, they, when you get golden ticket, you will can play the world championship. That, and there will be like 8 golden tickets in the total. You already know that X team got the golden ticket from uh, Queso Cup. Sunday we will find out which second team gonna get the golden ticket from Clash Master. You already know that Snap Dragon has two golden tickets. Looks like if I got it correctly. So yeah. When are you coloring uh, the hair? Uh, probably next week. Lalo saying 14 to 14 is gonna be first and win. So we are saying it's gonna be same like what was the first war. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I kind of going with you. 14 to 14. I don't think so we're gonna see the double perfect. Hi Sagar, hello. Yeah, it's only uh, actually what what got uh, new level hogs miners yetis got right. What other group troop got a boost? It was I know that one update was uh, hogs miners. Did they bowlers got also and yetis? I think so something like that, right? Oh wow, they are showing that Sinta hit, which was 96% What is the meaning of the golden ticket? So do you remember the world championship? You can get to play the world championship only when you have the golden ticket So the golden ticket giving you access to play in the world championship and only eight teams can get it. So right now we know X team has one. And Sunday or this uh, Sunday we will find out which uh, second team will get the golden ticket. The whole army of Sadra didn't get the update. Yeah, maybe that's... But is it actually like I was missing also Stadra Smash, you know? But I still agree to have one uh, player in the clan which is using dragons, you know? Kind of need it. No worries, okay. Alright, while we are waiting, we have like still like three minutes. I'm just gonna get uh, more uh, to drink. I will be right back because it's so hot. Hello chair, yeah, chair doing better job than I do so far. Oh, Sleepy, you just missed like two amazing matches. But good morning to you. Uh, 
no, the Jack Tiger. Uh, Mog is playing in the Ashing number one. So Mog is playing in different clan. Oh, that was our Maven man. <laughs> but no, my roommate. Oh, nice job, oh, John. Yeah, and the next is Screamo okay, Stephanie versus MS Esports, guys. Do -do -do. It's like 5 p.m. Friday. Yeah, living in the future. You actually are one hour front of me. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad. Okay. Oh, awesome. Get Tommy to get rank as well, John. Yeah, if it's 5 p.m. for you, you are one hour in front of me. That's fine. No, the Chinese, oh, they still can play, but they are playing on different servers. They are playing on Chinese servers, yes. Hi, Rohit, I have two cats. Yeah, I have two cats. Alright, guys, I hope some of you are ready. We are three minutes away from the first attack. So this match is MS Esport versus Mewalker Stephanie. How I was saying, this is huge match. Because the winner of this match will get the spot playing... Uh, in the final where they will playing for that golden ticket so we'll see if it's gonna be queen walkers or is it gonna be ms esport but we know both teams have same sponsor so i guessing anyone who wins is gonna be still happy for that other team you know so yeah we can look at the uh, bracket again after this we will have strat versus marcus gaming so we still have three wars front of us to find out which two teams will get a spot in the final i'm start closing the prediction so let's see how you two voting we have 83 percent voting for the queen walkers 17 person going with the uh, ms esport over on youtube over on twitch we have 20,000 channel points from kohta going on queen walkers and 46,000 channel points from ahmar on ms esport but wow the predictions are 50 50 over on twitch hi kevin hello yeah kohta excited for the queen walkers let's see big war big war guys we can look at the uh, lineup this time <laughs> this time they kind of fix it so uh, the kazuma face there but as you can see we have gaku kazuma yuta stars and uh clouds so that's the lineup for queen walkers we're gonna look at the lineup for the ms is for any second Here we go, that's the lineup for MS Esports. We have Eriam, LA, Kingsman, Nachoa, and Sinte. Oh yeah, sorry, uh, Muffin. Oh, everything is kind of locked when I'm streaming this one because my PC probably put on handling. So when I'm on this kind of screen, it doesn't show up. All right, closing the prediction over on Twitch. Best of luck to everyone who was voting. If you haven't voted, now is your last chance because we are only 30 seconds away from the first. Guess what, didn't get his picture taken in the last hour. In the first war, that was actually Stadra picture. <laughs> so yeah, I think so they didn't have it ready, you know, so. Uh. Herman, I think so he's like busy with the uh, Apex, I would say, so. all right predictions are close all focus on this war and let's go guys we are starting with the first attack from queen walker stephanie's side gaku is in and gaku will be using queen charge dragon riders he came with some uh zap spells so he actually zapped the inferno as i can see
Alright, so funnel set up nicely. Been going inside the compartment where we have the town hall. Sending Cocoloon. Let's see if we can find any black ermine. No black ermine there yet. Alright, putting the OCC. Alright, so. Queen Charge Dragon Riders. We need to keep the Queen alive for a while. She needs to clear a really big part of the base because we have only five Dragon Riders. So they will be not able to clear everything. Alright, just using some minions while the Queen was forced to use the ability. Oh no, he was late. Alright, so Queen Ability use can cameraman. Here we go. So now we are coming with the uh, Dragon Riders. Royal Champion and Slammer with them. Come on, Gaku. I don't know why actually the which way the Queen will go. Because we don't have Super Wolverker or Jump for the Queen. Like the headhunters are on the top, but the enemy queen is so far away. They're gonna get some hits. They actually got the enemy queen. That's amazing. Now we have the royal champion going for the multi inferno. Looks like it. Wooden sniping that as well. Now the king with some of the dragon riders trying to push for the uh, eagle. Queen is on the right side, and we are still looking good. Like the queen is right now kind of used on the cleanup. But soon she can start moving for that scatter shot. We have still 40 seconds. He's using invisibility spell on the dragon rider to take down the X bow. He's using the freeze. You can see the queen has no ability, so she needs the help. She was able to get a scatter shot. 30 seconds left. Queen is moving for the arch tower. Rip that one dragon rider, hitting the black airman. But the 25 seconds should be enough. He's sending the headhunter for that elixir collector. But that headhunter finding like 3 set of the grand skellies. But everything going for the final building. And Gaku did it, guys. Hitting the frost triple for Queen Walkers. Very nice job. Let me get some love for the Gaku in the chat. Nicely done. Yeah, Regal posted a, a website for you, Amazo. <laughs> yeah, good start for Queen Walkers. We'll see how uh, MS Esports will start. <laughs> Just on your bow, my heart. I <laughs> know. <laughs> but he got it. He handled it well. <gasps> yeah, nice hit from Gaku. I'm Lan Namaste. Alright, let's go back. Oh, uh, Ariam is in. This time he changed the position. <laughs> Let's go. So Eddie, I'm coming in here uh, with the Lalo. We will be blimping and using the uh, invisibility spell on the super wizards. So as you can see, he is trying to take down the scat shot and clear a few defenses around. All right, blizzarding nicely. And of course we pull the CC. Which uh, country? I'm from Slovakia. Ah, uh, Shauria, hello. Alright, Queen just dealing with the Lava Pups. She will be using ability. Yep, we have no poison for the Lava Pups, so she was forced to use the ability. Now we have King walking at the 9 o'clock side. Let's see. I don't know if we can get the town hall down with the Queen. Alright, so he's uh, using the Ice Golem. 
tanking for the defenses. Come on, Ice Golem, but now the Town Hall is activated. Unicorn has some time to heal Queen a little bit, but as the Ice Golem dying, so frozen everything, this is perfect. But now we need the Queen go for the Town Hall. He has to freeze one more time. There we go. King already clearing the 9 o'clock corner, and now we are pushing with the Royal Champion. Oh, wow, another freeze is needed for the Town Hall, but finally, Town Hall is gone. So very nice push with the heroes. Now let's see if the Icy can get the multi inferno before the loons are in the range. As you can see, they're already taking some damage, but I think so Royal Champion gonna be fast enough. There we go. Now we are laloling from the top. Big group of the loons going for the eagle. Rest of the loons going for the Xbox. Royal Champion already used the shield, so that's goodbye to her. Now we are using wooden ability and the haste spell over that scatter shot. This is looking pretty good. Finding the tornado trap front of the air defense, but the tornado trap was already gone when the loons arrived. We are uh, ending on that single inferno. He still has one freeze if it's needed. He has still enough time. Like look at the big group of the minions and the lava pups. So very nice attack, guys, from area. That's mean MS Esport as well hitting the triple here. Who do you think was faster, Gaku or area? Which attack was fast? Let's see, 19 second, 18, 17. I think so. Area was faster. Let's see, let's check it on the screen here. Area was 2 minutes 42 seconds. Gaku was 2 minutes 47 seconds. Hi Prince, hello. Susie, I don't understand the new update Clan Capital. What do you don't understand there, Amazon? Yeah, <laughs> Arian, where is your legs now? <laughs> oh, you changed the position, you know? Will you stream Rush of Clans? No, because Rush of Clans is the same time like this one. So sadly I will be not able to stream it. What happens with the creator code? Every time you use our creator code and you buy something, we're gonna get some percent of it. So it's actually a huge help for us. You cannot even imagine. Alright guys, Kazuma is in second attack from Kmiwoke, so zapping that sweeper and Kazuma coming in here with the dragons. So we snipe the air defense, blim, no problem, gonna make it. Alright, Sneaky got the town hall. Now we are just setting up the funnel, that's why he's using that one dragon on that side. Raging the big group of the dragons. Multi inferno going down. King going inside the compartment. Where is the enemy queen? Queen is joining as well. Now the warden ability is used. We are in front of the multi and the single inferno. Freezing the eagle. Freezing now. Very nice freeze over the single inferno and the warden statue. But I think so. King pulled the CC. So that's mean the queen will be a distract. Clear the boot infernos. We still have like three dragons left and the warden on the top. It's good thing that we have the regular dragons there as well because of the enemy RC. He needs help there. He was freezing, but the dragon went down pretty quickly. That's mean warden got some hits on the enemy royal champion, but of course the warden is now following the dragon. Queen is just dealing with the rest of the lava pups. This still feels there's so much left. Let's see, Royal Champion coming from the 12 o'clock, she will be fighting the enemy RC, but enemy RC is low health, so she can be uh, sniping her very easily. We have one freeze and one invisibility spell, RC with the shield, boom, 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 going for the scatter, freezing there, guys, sniping that cannon with the rocket balloon, Queen with the ability grabbing few more defenses, buildings, can Kazuma hit a second triple? 
for Queen Okay, so Real Champion going for the Sweeper. We are using the Invisibility spell, but I think so. He got it. Queen is back being healed by unicorn and you can see he is happy he knows he got it and that's mean we woke up stephanie hitting the second triple nicely done gg great job from kazuma game sounds is love i know i'm sorry we are using the clean feed i already asked if they can uh increase so we are waiting for that so this time we are not streaming from the clan so i cannot do anything uh about it right now so 40 for that <clears throat> hi irfan hello how to contribute single medal on every building uh would i am using like do you remember when you have like kind of tutorial how to do raids so I kind of just like grab one building there and end the attack. So I'm gonna get few medals and like that, doing that way. Yeah. Yeah, I told that to Olalo. I told it like he will be in the trouble, but he got it. It was really a smart with the spells. I Czech and Slovak language the same. Uh, no, they're similar. But if you speak Slovak, you uh, mostly understand the Czech and the also opposite way. We have just like some words, you know. Ansh, only if Regal wants to do it, but I cannot really. I'm sorry. Alright guys, Alec is in. Second hit for MS Esport. So right now you can see Kmivokers 2 for 2. Let's see. We're coming in here with the Queen Charge. Yeah, he means uh, 8 screen for the rush, yeah. Alright, so the queen is moving towards the town hall. Right, this is already looking pretty good now we are pulling the cc freeze over the super minions poison on the super uh oh sorry on the rocket balloons real champion coming from that three o'clock side we still need to deal with the super minions right i'm still gonna clear a few defenses around the town hall I see with the shield, boom, boom, boom. All right, Queen is on the town hall. You can see the value of the heroes is awesome. Look at this, he opened the wall where is the scatter shot. So he's gonna get that scatter with the king. And now he's lulling from the nine o'clock. He's using the freeze over the multi inferno. I think it feels like he lost a uh, few wounds there. Now he's using the warden ability. Alright, we have like two groups of the loons. Can we get the uh, eagle down? Because the eagle is destroying his loons. You can see that group of the loons front of the multi go down. But the king with the ability, I have to say that king is amazing. He is sniping the multi inferno and now he even going for the enemy uh, queen with the wooden help. He gonna get it. And this one is second triple for MS Esports. Nicely done guys. Both teams with the two triples. And still feels like MS Esports is faster with the hit. I was saying that could be situation when we gonna be even on stars. Even on percent. And the time can be factor actually they are even two mid oh my god they are even on stars even on person and even on time two minutes 38 seconds for the both teams like this is totally <laughs> close like this can be anyone win and this match is very important because the winner of this match will get a spot in the playoff to play for that golden ticket guys it's very important match 
Wow, what a war we have! Even, even, and even! OP King, totally agree. That King was awesome. Yeah, I for this I need like regal uh, help because if I open another window, my PC gonna crash, you know? <laughs> so I cannot do anything. What I'm drinking is kind of like mix, uh, I don't know, like, what is it? Like mango, orange, sparkling one. So, yeah. It's so hot, so it's the cold drink, you know? Yeah, same time, exactly. <laughs> you are preparing the oh my no e dragon here the last time he had to like that was insane yeah a lot of sugar i know <laughs> but i can we have long day okay so i can all right stars is in <laughs> op player come there all right stars is in and uh he will go in with the skeleton bad donut and after he will be using kill squad lalo oh all right there we go skeletons on the clan castle but on the multi inferno all right multi went down all right clan castle going down as well so all good I think so that super wall breaker was there. There is super wall. Oh, was that the oh that was the regular wall breaker? I guess we were checking the traps. It looks like that. Okay. Yeah, for the flame flinger, I see that's what he was doing. That's why he brought that regular wall breaker. Okay. Perfect position of the flame flinger. The flame flinger is outside of the range of the arch tower. And outside of the range of the cannon, you know, so the flame flinger is pretty safe right now. We are deploying the king on the bottom side. Royal, uh, sorry, queen behind. He has the earthquake spell, so he will be using earthquake spell to activate the town hall. Because if you don't know, guys, the flame flinger is already only targeting the defenses, and when the town hall isn't activated, the flame flinger would ignore it. All right, King with the Royal Champion, nicely clearing that bottom compartment. We are hitting the Tornado Trap and finding the Tesla part. He's using the Valk to take care of the ground scale. Super Bowl Breakers was in the Tornado, but now he can open the wall for the Queen there to help. RC already targeting that scatter shot. Flame Flinger still doing his job. He got the scatter. Now we are starting with the Lalo. We still have Queen with the ability. RC shield was used. Sniping the visit tower. Town hall went down. Warden ability. Headhunters on the tomb. Aiming for the enemy queen. Eagle is gone. Now the queen is on the wall and nothing is hitting her. So she has chance to uh, be healed by unicorn. Freezing that scattered. Now the loons kind of split into few groups. But I think we still have so many loons left. He is freezing, hasting over that single and the ground expo. This one was beautiful attack from stars. Very nice job, guys. That's mean. This one is third, three, four, four, queen walkers. They are going three, four, three. GG. Nicely done. Yeah, that was like uh, the work with the heroes, fighting for the loons, wooden ability was awesome. That was a very nice attack to watch. yeah sashi exactly i think they also have to think about time like we saw we were even on time which is insane you know so <laughs> i don't know <laughs> oh i don't know who can get the win who will get the spot in the final there's gonna be queen walkers or ms esport yeah very nice attack definitely All right, let's go. 
Kingsman is in third attack for MSE Sport. We coming in here with the dragons. That could help them with the time, guys. Dragons hit. We are using the zap spells on the sweeper. And yeah, we also will be cloning here. So he zap the sweeper on the top. You think that Utah will go with the E dragons? I think so he's probably still waiting to see, you know? Maybe he will have two armies, we will see. Alright, so E dragon funneling the other side. We have king and a queen fighting the enemy king. After that, they will get the eagle down. And this is also setting up nice pathing for his dragon. They immediately are moving for the scatter, but we are using the raid spell and we will try to catch the dream with the toll. So not even protecting the loose and the dragons, but also that dream. We will be cloning the loose next to the town hall to trying to snipe that single inferno as you can see the blim is hitting the tornado trap so he's not even popping the blim he's just waiting and now the cloning the loose perfect by the way the single inferno went down very quickly the same story for the town hall we still have some of the dragons with the warden on the top king is still clearing queen still full health and with the ability and don't forget he has a real champion guys by like this hit can uh, boost MSE sport time like a lot. 1 minute 40 seconds. Still have freeze and the invisibility spell. Queen using the ability. She's now stuck behind the wall. Real champion going for the last compartment where we are using the freeze spell. We were able to froze all these three defenses. We are sniping almost a uh, multi inferno beautiful attack from Kingsman. And now I would say the MSE sport has the time. This hit was definitely much, much faster than Star's attack. That means MS Esport will have a time lead here. Nice job. Very nice attack from Kingsman. Now let's check the time. 2 minutes 21 seconds for MS Esport. 2 minutes 38 seconds for Queen Walkers, guys. E Dragon cleared like 5 Teslas. That was beautiful attack. Yeah, now I'm agree. Yuta will have to go with the E Dragons, guys. He has to. That's no way. Even Klaus has to be fast. You know. I don't know. Pressure on. So the team which will we get a spot in the final and team which lose will move to the lower bracket where they get the second chance. Yeah, it's close time guys. Klaus has to lalo fast. He need to like, uh, I don't know. Like depends what also uh, MS Esport will do with the rest of the hit, you know. If MS Esport will be like still keep being fast with the attacks, I don't know. But Klaus coming in here and he will be using Sui Lalo, okay. He is coming with the Sui Lalo. So starting with the king on the top. Yeah, I guess even when he's going, going with the Sui Lalo, he will be starting the Lalo pretty soon while the heroes are still clearing stuff. He cannot really wait that much. So he's starting with the Ice Golem and using the Log Launcher. So Log Launcher uh, already hitting uh, up and also be, should be able to open the wall where is the multi inferno. Royal Champion clearing the left side and the Aquin is clearing the right side here. Right, Ice is in the range of the enemy royal champion, but we have the skeleton spell there. Plus, we are even sending the headhunter to help her. 
All right, King, King already used the ability, so goodbye to King. Log launcher, look at this. One more hit on that multi inferno. Come on, yet it's get a uh, multi. Where are they going? Oh, they're going for the CC. Queen is now using the ability as the scattershot hitting her. Yeti mines or Yetis will be sniping that multi inferno, and immediately we are starting with the Lalo. You can see already Lava with the moons at the 3 o'clock side by the Queen and the Royal Champion dealing with the Lava Pups. We will be Laloing over the town hall. We still have plenty of spells on for the Lalo. We already find uh, the tornado trap, which is nice. So the tornado trap will be gone until the loons arrive. So that's awesome. Town hall isn't activating. Activating town hall right now using the free spell. Go, 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 loons. Warden ability. Town hall going down. We still have to clear that multi inferno with the Tesla farm. Using the heal spell, there is very nice value of the heal spell. We definitely have enough loons, guys. We are looking pretty good because he has four free spells. That's insane. We have still one lava tanking. One minute left. Is he gonna be fast enough? Go, 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 Klaus. But I still think that Utah will have to use the E-Dragons or something pretty fast, guys. The lava didn't even pop. That means we have less cleanup. 50 seconds left. Still have one freeze, one poison, which you already can swag there. Three buildings. How much time? 47, 46, 45. 45 seconds left. So still pretty fast attack. Very nice job from Klaus. So that means Kmewokers are going 4-4-4 four, four, four here. We will see how the fourth attack from MS Esport will go. But the Kmewokers still have pressure on them with the time here. Like, probably Utah have to think about the E-Dragons. Very hard Lalo, yep. And he handled it so well. Suzy so teach me Lalo. Ask these guys! Like, look at this! Like, they are smashing with the Lalo. I'm not Lalo attacker, guys. No way. That was the last uh, fast hit for the Lalo, agree. It's not me, I am here! <laughs> no, this was actually can for the cat's food, you know? That's what you could hear. Yeah, Regal, it's done like in 30 minutes. Thank you very much for setting up, Regal. Thank you. Mm, I don't know if like MS Esports still like hit a perfect war. But if they gonna get actually use all time for the each attack, Mewokers can come back with the time. It really depends on what strategy MS Esports will go with. Alright, here we go. Nachoa is in. So Nachoa coming in here with the Queen Charge Lalo. Hi Elvis, hello, hello. You just arrived the perfect time. We have amazing, big war here. Actually, let me uh, change the music. Let's put it like more like serious note guys okay all right you can see the wall is open queen can reach the scatter we are blimping that compartment where is the enemy royal champion and the warden it is are getting some value and of course we pull the cc baby dragon is safe there like that the royal champion oh even the baby dragon getting some hits on rc now we just freezing the enemy uh head hunter Queen can uh, like almost one shot at the Royal Champion, so that's fine. So you can see Queen Walkers 444. So I need the Super Wall Breaker to open another wall for the Queen. Which way? Usa, we are opening the wall. Where is the Eagle? That's fine because we can reach the Multi Inferno. So she's moving for the Eagle. Now she's fighting the enemy king, headhunter on the way. This is so nice value. Who said that already? I think some Lalo coming in from the top, if I can see correctly. Yes. So the moons are with the warden coming from the top side. We are freezing there. King still clearing the bottom side. Queen is locked on the lava. Double isn't activated. Oh my god, is, did he make the. Oh no, Loons are patting away! Did he make it invisible? Royal Champion is there now! Warden, rip! 
Oh, this will be defense. Uh, FJ, are you trolling me with the knocking? <laughs> oh my god, Ice, can you get the town hall? She will not get the town hall. There's some ground Skelly is hitting. Oh no, he has no spells. It is one star. That's huge. That's huge defense. In this day, I would say the Kmivokers won. 66% one star. Wow. That's huge defense. We were talking about that we're going to see perfect, perfect here. But the Kmivokers are getting huge defense. And you know what does that mean? Kmivokers will get the spot in the final. They will be playing for that golden ticket, guys. You will see them playing Sunday for that golden ticket. Only four teams can play there. Kmivokers is one of them. MS Esports probably gonna lose here, but they're gonna get a second chance. They will be playing one more time today. They're gonna get a second chance and they still can get a spot in the final. But yeah, that was big rip. Yeah, all Yuta needs is save two star. He made the town hall invisible. I think so he misclick uh miss about the spells there. That was brutal. So the loons totally ignored the town hall. Yep. Yeah, Luz were putting away. He tried to invisible all of them to the town hall. Yeah, small mistake, guys. But MS Esports still have chance, guys. In that lower bracket, they still can get a spot. If I say today two teams can get a spot. We know that Kremokers will have one. We still have Marcos, Strat and MS Esports. But let's go for final attack from Kmivokers. Yuta is in. So all the Kmivokers need is save. Do they have even person? Let's go with the save two star. And actually Yuta coming in here with the Queen Charge Dragon Riders. Let's see if the Kmivokers can hit the perfect uh, war. Alright, took care of the enemy queen, freeze in the CC, queen uh, took down the scatter shot, so that's looking good. We have the king and the royal champion on the bottom side, where is the town hall? RC with the shield, town hall went down, we are going for that single inferno, RC gonna get it before she died. King is still in the poison, so probably gonna get that boulder hat, and that's it. Now we will be starting with the dragon riders. Looks like starting first with the slammer, so slammer also gonna be tanking for them. Queen just killed the last lava pub, so we, sh we have to keep eyes on the board and statue because he's trying to snipe the queen here. Most of the uh, dragon riders are actually on the bottom side and letting the slammer to snipe uh, the eagle. You can see this base has still one scatter and two multis. 1 minute 25 seconds. So time is still looking good. He's holding on that wooden ability. We are getting to the core of the base where we are hitting the tornado trap. So we are using the wooden ability. Slam and pop. So we have the loons and dragon rider coming out. Using the freeze over the air defense and also catching that archer tower. Dragon riders are moving for that second uh, inferno. And we are looking good. Look at the super wobeke giving queen access to clear the top compartment. We will be ending on the Tesla farm, but we have invisibility spell and we also have queen with the ability Yuta smash it, guys. That means Kmivokers are hitting the perfect war against MS Esports, guys. And you're gonna see them playing Sunday. Sunday, they will be playing for their golden ticket. Congratulations to them. They made it. Sunday, they will have chance to play for that golden ticket. And actually, today, we will find out which second team going to join them there, guys. Get some love in the chat for the Kmivokers. Congratulations. This was a huge war. And that was a lot of pressure, guys. 
you saw how we start is we were even talking about that maybe this war will be decided by the time you know so both things were under pressure you know any small mistake you know i'm not surprised if the uh, players are nervous and everything but how i was saying ms esports still have chance to get a spot in the final they are just now moving to the lower bracket okay lower bracket where we'll be in the a single elimination so yeah but huge congratulations Walkers for the perfect war and for that spot in the final yep in this uh day one i i, I was saying i'm supporting Walkers in this one the golden ticket it's for the world championship if you remember the world championship from the previous years you can only play there if you have golden ticket right now x team has the golden ticket and sunday we will find out which team uh which second team gonna get the golden ticket uh shama i cannot because we are not in the clan we are using clean feet so i i don't have uh power over the camera there no, tomorrow will be group B. Tomorrow will be the tank. Uh, tomorrow will be the tank. Vanguard Gaming, Cutie Fan, and Bad Zinger playing. So we actually have two different groups. This one is group A. Tomorrow is group B. But let's enjoy the final attack from MS Esports. And have I said, don't go anywhere, guys, because after this, we have still two more wars. Have I said, we are down to, to three teams and only one of them can get a spot in the final so we still have strat versus marcos gaming and actually the winner of that war will be facing ms esports you can see Sinte didn't get the value he was able to grab the clan castle but the single inferno is still there almost had it that single inferno had no help but now the full guy gonna fix it we are deploying the king and the queen on the bottom side and we are seeing Sinte going with the air strategy again here so no hog is today maybe in the next war we'll see but ms esports will be playing one more time today All right, King with the ability trying to get the enemy royal champion the scatter got it I guess we have sneakies yeah we are getting time hold down with the sneakies okay and now Queen joining because of the single inferno she's still staying out of the single inferno now we're coming with the rest of the Lalo from the top, freezing the multi inferno and the wooden statue. Royal champion going for it, sniping the wooden. Why she is going for the sweeper? Was it really closer? And now she's standing in the single inferno. Anyway, Luza sniping the multi inferno, but we still have the single inferno up. We are using the freeze over the scatter and few defenses around. Cleanup looking fine. We have minions and the lava pups everywhere, but we are finding the Tesla farm on the top where the ice lava actually frozen everything wooden is tanking the scatter shot tornado trap kind of mess it up and i don't think so in this stage we will have enough here it will be defense for the knuckles but how i say even if this one is a uh, three star uh it wouldn't be enough so congratulations knuckles for the win gg to ms esport ms esport is now moving to the lower bracket it's strat loose uh strat loss against Kimivokers, but now they will be facing marcos gaming they are in the lower bracket yeah they're in the single elimination bracket now yeah win or go home yeah they're getting their second chance Yeah, big shout out to both teams. Great war. Like the start of, start of the war was insane. But, have I said, don't go anywhere. We have not a big war coming. I don't think so there is actually much time between. We will be now covering Strat versus Marcos Gaming. They are in the lower bracket. So the situation is like that. The team which uh, lose will be out and team which win will be facing uh, MS Esports. So big shout out to Queen Walkers 
we're gonna see them playing for that golden ticket Sunday and let's see which other team gonna join them there I'm gonna start a new prediction because I think so we are oh actually let me show you the bracket here you go you can see now Strat versus Marcos Gaming winner is facing MS Esport and that war will be same situation like was Kmivokas versus MS Esport winner of that war will get the uh, spot in the final we are seeing some crazy wars today so yeah let's see who gonna win Strat or Marcos Gaming all right who we'll win let's go strat and marcos gaming no we have still two more wars guys yeah five wars each day <laughs> quite a long day i know all right uh i just need regal you are perfect thank you very much for help there all right let me give you channel points and let's start a new prediction you you are pushing pre uh, putting pressure on me you have no idea how much i have to change please be patient i'm trying my best to be fast oh guys i'm gonna put it only on five minutes because i think so we are almost ready there okay so we don't have much time it looks like we are already like one minute away from the first attack so it's only five minutes predictions <laughs> yeah if my moderator is pushing me is uh don't do this you know all right five minutes guys for the prediction and after they're gonna close and one last thing strat versus marcos gaming okay All right title should be correct my wi-fi is all op you can actually hear my wi-fi struggling right now oh next word is soon no you guys have five minutes <laughs> It showed like 30 seconds. Now they change it too soon. Oh. No hope for the uh, Marcos. Well, they still have chance, but it's big war. It's definitely like a facing team like Strat. Yeah, that's big war. all right let's look at the lineup guys are you ready so we have boom us mask yo-yo and try hard so this is the lineup for strat i really like how they are doing this this is actually awesome this is awesome how they are showing the uh lineup Rego, thank you very much for 44 months thank you big big shout out to rego all the stats and everything ah what what we didn't show the other lineup looks like we are already ready ready already <laughs> so let's go let me spam some love for you in the chat but we are live guys guys boom is in for strat this is huge war because it's single elimination okay single elimination only one team can advance to the next round where they will be facing ms esports so let's see there's gonna be strat or marcos gaming so we have boom coming in here they have like huge war against the kmivokers strat actually lost on the third set against the kmivokers that was crazy war both teams hit the 14 stars just uh, uh strat didn't have enough third set here so as you can see we are queen charging from the top we just pulled a few uh, uh troops didn't pull all of them now the super minions coming out we were able to take down the eagle it's starting with the ice golem on the teslas opening the wall for the king looks like the royal champion probably gonna join the king because he want to clear that all compartment we now just taking down the rocket balloons and let's see what is the next right now the healers are not in the range of the multi inferno so they are pretty safe the queen is on that clan castle i think so there was tornado trap front of the scatter shot so that's why king and the rc was slowed down now the queen walking on the top already going in here with the lalo that's awesome because 
if the loon's gonna be fast enough, actually it should push the royal champion go for the multi inferno. Wow, and he is blimping that multi inferno to protect his healers. Yet is good invisibility spell, but what's happened? Healers are switching, they are leaving the queen. Now they are back on the queen, but one healer is confused, kind of lost there. The Royal Champion was able to get the multi inferno and we already sniped the town hall with the loons. We still have some of the loons left, but they, are, they don't have much health. We have to deal with the enemy queen. I don't see the headhunters, that's me and Arcee. We'll be uh, fighting her. Queen is sniping the scatter shot. I think so, we are good, guys. Boom is hitting the first triple for strat. Nicely done, GG. Very nice attack. What the plan, right? Already ready, yeah, exactly. Well, prediction gonna close on that all. I put five minutes, so we have enough time. Right now, YouTube strat 72%, 28% voting for uh, Marcos. By the way, YouTube, if you enjoyed the stream, don't forget to click that like button. Eight screen. Uh, is this? Ha no, they haven't started yet. No. It's still like uh, 11 minutes for the rush of plans. Alright, let's go. This is like uh, pretty fast showing the lineup for Marcos Gaming. As you can see, Neru, Grim, Master, Atif, 11 and Alfonso. So this is the lineup for Mar uh, Marcos Gaming. If Susie will be added to the game as a hero, then her ability will be Jinx. The enemy defense, imagine. <laughs> How are you doing, Aditya? I hope so, everything going well with you. Mm-hmm. Seen the fail to attack. So so true. Both were so close. <laughs> Boom were awaiting hour for that hit. Oh that was so nice attack. Great hit. No Arush, I will be not streaming uh, uh Rush because we are uh streaming this one. Alright guys, Neru is in. We are already actually live here. Uh, let's see what we were doing. So we blimped the town hall. I really like that player comes. Actually that's awesome, you know. We are using the freeze over the multi inferno. Dragon Rider get it. But you can see we lost the dragons which were on the top side. So we are down to the group on the bottom side. Royal Champion now joining. We still have two super minions. They actually can do quite a lot of uh, damage. Raging and freezing over the inferno and the uh, enemy queen. I don't know. Oh, this is gonna be close. Arcee already used the shield. The enemy queen is a problem. Yeah, Arcee died so so quickly. So now we have queen with the ability and we have two super minions. He has over one minute left. I guess he will be just uh, very patient to waiting with the super minions here. He can use the headhunter for the enemy queen. Yeah, we saw that symbol for a second. We thought that we are uh, disconnecting there. All right, now the warden starts to steer up. Gonna be sniping the queen. Oh, this is lagging. Oh, goodbye to Queen. That Warden is so, like, savage. It's defense. Nice try from Neru. So this one is first defense for uh, Strat. You can see that was 90%, which is still very decent percent. Oh, glad, I'm glad to hear that idea. 
Oh, it's I need first for that team, you know? Yeah, I can actually there was not much time between the war, you know? Like we finished the, uh, the war and we immediately jumped to the, another one, so... Yeah, did you see how all were worried about the Wi-Fi where the symbol show up? Everyone check his iPad, like, are you still playing? <laughs> you actually could see it on the player cam, yeah. Hi, Martin. Hello. Pussy, welcome to the stream. Okay, so this one was guys at the first hit. So we can see Strat actually already have lead. We did one star. Is that weird that I'm wishing there is not beautiful weather here? It's so hot. I think so tomorrow I will have a fan already next to me, you know? And then my hair will be like flying like in the a movie, you know, with the effects, you know. <laughs> I will be looking cool, guys. All right. I swear they are showing this hit so late. Ah. Uh... All right, skeleton donut. I don't think so we're gonna get the inferno that something had to go i probably he made it inferno invisible so if we just go the clan castle it's so that because of the uh, beautiful weather you know that's why yeah the air effect exactly You know like some of the top top pictures, you know, they have like the hair flying, so I'm gonna be like that. Alright, I see on that scatter. Now, will the queen go in? She's distracted by Skellies. Looks like she's walking on the right side, but he's sniping the defenses with the rocket balloons. Don't worry, Daniel, it will happen. Yeah, the queen has the ability. He will get the town hall. Alright, all good. Now the rocket balloon tried to get a multi inferno. That was black air mine, so uh, read the rocket balloon. Now even the dragon uh, hitting it, and he should have enough uh, health. Only the problem is the sweeper is pushing it away. We are starting with the Lalo Slammer Pop, so we have wounds and the dragon rider coming out. He actually freezes in there to make sure the multi going down as well. Over one minute left. Modern ability on the top, headhunters and uh, Tom, enemy queen is gone, dragon rider is sniping that scatter shot. It's kind of scary that we have still that multi inferno with the uh, sweeper that he's freezing there. Can these loons go for it? Alright, all group with the dragon rider is going for it, sniping the sweeper so it's easier to snipe now the multi inferno. We have 40 seconds left. Loons are hitting some traps and they are dropping, but we have still three dragon riders. Minions are chasing the enemy king. I hope so we're not gonna hit that town fell because we still need to uh, clear like two defenses. So the dragon riders are distracted. You can see he has like six minions chasing the enemy king. Now the dragon rider is going for that storage. It is three star. Oh, that is drill, but he's sniping it. So nice job. Strat going two for two here. G. You have to be faster, Aditya, you know? Slacking. <laughs> oh, who won Quinwalkers versus MS? Quinwalkers did. Hi, Ronnie. Hello. Congratulations, Ronnie. <laughs> Daniel. Oh. Hi, Shakir. Hello. Triple OP, yup.
what is after this match so after this is the final match of today it will be ms esport versus winner of this world all right here we go cream is in so this is the second attack from marcus gaming Skeleton, Bat, Donut. Alright, Bats are getting their multi inferno, definitely. Clan Castle is almost gone, and we even got the second inferno. Beautiful style from Grim. That's actually nice value. Two infernos and the Clan Castle. Now, we have the King on the right side. And I think Queen is there as well. Yep. Deploying the Ice Golem with the Royal Champion, so he will try to get big push with the heroes. We have the Blim, so I guess we will be maybe blimping the Town Hall. We will see like which way the Queen will go. Alright, so I see taking down uh, the scatter shot. Maybe the Queen even go for the Town Hall. Like, King is inside that compartment. Royal Champion, where are you going, girl? She's going for the Bolt Tower, she's now going for the Sweeper. She's standing in the uh, range of the single inferno. He's not uh, using any spells. So goodbye to RC. She actually need to one hit that single inferno. So we got the town hall down with the heroes. So he is now changing uh, for the slumber. So he was just patient or uh, waiting if uh, his heroes get a town hall. He is trying to snipe that single inferno, sending bunch of wolves. Wow, now finding two black air mines with that cocoon. Mostly the maiden because there's more black air mines. We are starting with the Lalo from the top side, Slammer going with them, using the Ice Lava, and we still have two Free Spell and one Haze Spell. Warden coming from that uh, 10 o'clock. Alright, Ice Lava frozen everything. We have to deal with the enemy queen, three headhunters, two headhunters hitting the spring trap, but one headhunter, I hope so, will be enough. Know that queen is running away, she's still there, he's freezing, can we get the enemy queen? Maybe with the loom drop we actually can do it, know that queen is still alive. There's like, enemy, uh, there's his lava pups, no way, the queen is still keep going, I think so, she's finally down. And now we have still Slammer with the big group of the loons. We have one free, so we can freeze that sweeper with the visitor to help these loons. 38 seconds. Time could be issue. Time really can be issue here, guys. Because in this stage, have no spell, so loons will be moving pretty slowly. What he has in the blimp? Oh, he has sneakies. Does that mean that the heroes went totally wrong way? Oh no way! It's gonna be defense! It looks like the heroes went wrong way here! But he didn't funnel the bottom side! Oh, 99%! So if this means that his heroes went wrong way, he's still a recover. But I kind of got confused. Because if he won the heroes, stay on the head side shouldn't he funnel because there was no funnel of course the queen would go that way hello mustafa i don't need just finish uh uh right it's fine just uh use all your, all your attacks yeah 99 town fell No, guys, like my age is top top secret, you know. Hi, official, hello. Yeah, Arpid, we do. We are trying our best, but there's just so many of these icons, you know, so we are trying to be fast enough to ban them. Maybe it was backup plan. I guess so. But wouldn't it be like easier to have Yetis in the. you know? Hmm. Oh, I'm kind of confused there. Alright, mask is in. So this one is third hit from strat. Alright, 
right, so Queen Charging Town Hall. Scully do not take so much spells. Yeah, but he got both Infernos. I just think he has like better CC in that uh, slammer. Like he was ready, he had the bling with the sneaky, so I just thinking what he was planning to do. I don't know. Official, I do remember you. Yeah, mask is. Yes, 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 he is. Adam is uh, correct. He is Italian. But he speak English very, very well. Alright, so Dragon Riders from top, slam with them. Everything under Tom. Been using the. or dealing with the lava pups. Alright, still getting very nice push uh, with the dragons. Queen is still safe there. And she can keep clearing these defenses. Now the dragons with the uh, real champion going for that inferno. Who's at the loons will be sniping the eagle, by the way. And we will be ending on the scatter shot. He has like 58 seconds left. I see with the shield. Boom, boom, boom. Now, the, uh, there is like big group of the minions. With the RC, he's using invisibility spell. Actually, the minions are targeting that scatter shot. That's awesome. So the scatter going down thanks to the real champion and strat going 3 for 3. That was awesome. Nicely done. So guys, Strat is looking pretty strong here. Marcos Gaming is in the trouble. Because how I say, the team with rules will be out. Suzy so age is more complicated than my math problems. Ah, let's not talk about Suzy age. I told you, I am old. I am very, very old. Old, old, old. Of the same GG, yeah. They're looking good. I don't know. Uh, yeah, Marcos is really in the trouble right now. Like the 99, it's really needed to be three star, you know. Because Strat has two attacks left, and actually the Marcos needs them to fail these two hits and go perfect with the rest of the attacks. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it will be Strat versus MS Esport. Do I have Instagram? Yes, Suzy Gaming COC, but I am not that active on it. Alright, Master Atif is in. Hi, Vieto, hello. I will be cloning the moves that are hitting the tornado trap. Now hold them down. Dragon Rider, can you get a single Inferno? Before he died, he got it, okay. Now we are freezing that multi. There you go, wow. Did you actually say it, there you go. Oh, enemy real champion. Oh no, this is going down so, so quickly, guys. Uh, we are already losing so many Dragon Riders. Now Royal Champion coming in. Looks like the Wooden. I don't know if Wooden will be following RC. But you can see the Dragons will try to help the Queen with the Lava Pups. We just clear 55%. And yeah. We have only two free spell left. RC is already low health with the Shield Boom Boom Boom. Sniping the air defense is help uh, for the Dragons. Sending the Headhunter. But the Headhunter is kind of swag. That headhunter can try to clear some uh, trash buildings around. Now we are freezing that scatter shot, but there is ground scaling. So goodbye to Royal Champion. Queen is stuck behind the wall here. It will be another defense. No, I don't think so. He can do it. We still have air defense at the end there, you know, and that air defense is hide behind the storage. So. Yeah, three hits from uh, Marcos Gaming looks like all three are high percent two star. 
Very nice try from Atif here. This group A is so stuck, guys. By so stuck group. Nice try. Being in the group with the uh, invokers strat MS is for Marcus Gaming. So stuck. Yeah, Kmokers got the two wins, so they will be playing in the final. You will see them again in the action Sunday. Kokta same, I am all too. See? So we are in the same club, Kokta. Oh, maybe pressure can uh, You know? Uh, we are seeing uh, Marcus Gaming also playing in a different tournament. They're also playing with the really stuck groups and they're doing an amazing job, you know? I think so also pressure got them, you know? Like playing against Strat, you know? I would be scared too. My green screen will be perfect. Uh, I hope so. We actually will see it. Yeah, I think so. My green screen wouldn't show up behind me anymore. Oh my god, these guys. Oh, you want to see eight screen? Oh, but it's gonna be confusing. I just gonna do it this way. Okay? Because I'm not gonna talk about it. This is from Rush of Clans, but because Strad is playing, so they cannot play at this of Indrash. But we have some words on the screen, so oh my god, Chasma didn't start well. There was 82% one star. But let's go guys because main focus is on the clash master so i gonna can switch some uh sometimes between the hits but yeah keep eyes on it uh guys all right yo yo is in so strat is three for three here Yeah, looks like the strat was ready for them, you know, like stopping their dragon hits. I don't think so, like, Marcos has all the all players like the dragon attackers. They were also using, like, different strategies. Like, the just strat uh, basis was holding well, you know? Alright, king and the queen still on the bottom side. Queen using the ability to snipe the headhunter. Maybe Yetimites can get a single Inferno. They're right now fighting the enemy royal champion. Yetimites are actually going for the Wizard Tower. They got few hits. And now we are lulling from 9 o'clock. Modern ability catching most of the loons there. Healing. Nice. Who's hitting the tornado trap? Not big deal. They're under the heal, so they're all good. Now we are using a bunch of dragon riders from the top. Their goal is to take down the scatter. Now his loons are taking a lot of damage, so we are uh, kind of losing big group of the loons. But we are sending the rest of the loons from the uh, 1 o'clock. We will be ending on the scatter shot. We will get this, guys. Nice from Yoyo. Strat going 4 4 4. GG. Great hit from him. You think that Alf Alfonso gonna hit the triple with the Lalo? Yeah, even the previous war which we are using, uh, watching Marcus Gaming, they have some really nice attack, you know? Lalo is so OP. Yoyo is so OP. <laughs> I told you 
I'm not gonna tell you my age, official. Stop it. Do you know Susie Marcos's name of the Indian Special Navy? Oh, I didn't know that, Rohit. Hi, Bob. Hello. That's actually interesting fact. I put myself inside in the fridge, guys. <laughs> oh, even like uh, watching the camera because the carbon is casting and he has like a uh, TV, but it's showing the fireplace. It's making me like it's like, so warm in here, you know. This uh, a nice weather has to go away. Oh, that's even worse. Okay. All right, eleven is in. No, Marcus playing for the while. All these players has a uh, huge experience, but yeah. This is like you are playing against all B teams. This is not easy to get a win, you know? Any small mistake kind of costs you triple. This is interesting what Eleven is doing. He's just deploying one healer and trying to pull the rest of the CC, so. Uh, with the Hawks. This way, the queen is not front of the town hall or not in the range of the single inferno or the warden, you know. Now, the rest of the healers coming in here. We are using the poison on the super minions, just sending a bunch of the rules. So let's see if we can find any black ermine. And now we are using the rage on the queen to make sure the queen can get the town hall down. Actually, uh, he was able to save that healer. Okay. With the hybrid, we are coming in. King and the siege barrack at the six o'clock. Wow, so many spring traps! Like he lost so many hogs already. Eagle even targeting his uh, hybrid with the real champion. Queen sniping the single infernal. Now we are using the warden ability as the uh, troops are moving towards that multi infernal. Queen hitting the tornado trap, and there was a red bomb. But the healers are still fine. Now we have to keep eyes on them because if he doesn't freeze that's a multi inferno, it will be goodbye to healers. Royal Champion going for the multi inferno. Now she got distracted by the enemy king. So we have Hoggy sniping that multi inferno. But in this stage, Queen lost the healers. We are freezing that ground expo. If the scatter, we are using super wall bracket to making sure the queen definitely will go for the scatter now the hybrid is clearing the rest of the tesla we have 45 seconds left we should be oh we didn't get a scatter okay i was about to say we should be good now ground expo on rc i think no actually on the warden so rc can help the bow scatter shot and the expo is low health we are hitting the giant bomb and finding the ground skellies, but uh, miners with the king, can they clear it? Electro Owl! Oh my god, this miner's dying so, so quickly! Oh no! Electro Owl! King! So no health! Oh, are you serious? It's gonna be defense! Electro Owl on that archer tower! 3, 2, 1... Oh, this is... Wow! 98%! It's not Marcos' uh, war, guys. Like, this was kind of unlucky there. Like, this uh, last traps around that scatter just totally got him. Is that Royal Champion? I, I don't know. I'm just thinking if we save the healers uh, for the Queen, if uh, that would be 3 star, you know? Because he didn't fr freeze the uh, multi, he used the uh, freeze for his uh, hybrid. But yeah, very nice try, but you can see 98%. Mike, thank you very much for beats. I'm sorry, I just saw it. Thank you very much for beats. 3, 1, 2. Exactly, that's my new counting. Uh, Muy dad, hello, good morning. Yeah, the next match, uh, final match will be Strat versus MS Esports. Yeah, after, one more. 
You are getting better with the Super Bowl. That's nice. Now, in this stage, we can talk. Do you think that we're gonna see the perfect war for Stat? Guys, are we gonna see the perfect war for them? No, it's one more match, guys. Strat was always known well for the base building. Yeah, it's perfect incoming. Let's see. Try hard. Coming in. This is the final attack for Strat. So we are trying to get a huge push with the heroes. We are using the log launcher. Alright, log launcher hitting their multi inferno. King already very low health. So goodbye to King and King pulled the CC. Queen and RC fighting the enemy queen and the scatter shot. Now the Yeti is gonna finish the multi inferno. I don't think so. He wanted the queen in that compartment. I have feeling that he wanted the queen to follow the long launcher, so now she's gonna be kind of stuck behind. He already started in the level, finding the Tesla farm around the town hall, so he is freezing everything there using the raid spell, and soon he's gonna use the warden ability. So we are sniping the Tesla, sniping the town hall, and going for that warden. Queen will be now log on the lava, already deploying bunch of minions behind, and we have still 1 minute 25 seconds. Now he is healing as the loons are getting in the range of the multi and the scatter shot. We have two groups, very nice split with the loons there. We are getting other multi inferno. Sadly, we didn't get the scatter shot as the loons hitting many air traps. But with the rest of the loons, we definitely get it. And the queen is, of course, beating the wall as usually. Anyway, try hard hitting the three star, and that's mean. Strat hitting the perfect wall, and they will be advancing to the next round where they will be facing MS Esports, guys. So the next war, which is actually the last war will be between MS Esports and Strat Gaming. Only one of these teams can get the spot in the final and join the Quivokers where they will be playing for them golden ticket. So very nice job from uh, Strat and we're just waiting for that final attack from uh, Marcos Gaming still. Get some love for them because they made it, you know, there was so many teams trying to um, made it to the playoff and Marcos did it. You have no idea how many teams were playing, you know, so that is still amazing result for the Marcus Gaming, be in this group of the teams, you know, so still get some love for the Marcus Gaming, but sadly we are losing them today, they will be out of the playoff, and the next war we will see which another team which gonna, we're gonna lose, so yeah. Nobody official, have a great day. You have many icons but no time to play. Yeah, that's what happened. Usually you are just focusing on one or two icons. Yeah, it, it's, it, it's true. You can see so many perfect words. It's so true. Yeah, definitely. Respect to Marcos, you know. They made it to the, uh, uh, to the playoff. That's still amazing result. But let's go. This is the final attack from Marcos Gaming. Alfonso is in. He will be using Lalo, and actually we are bringing clone spell. We're gonna clone Yetis. Oh, they're outside on the clone spell. Now they're inside. Okay, we are cloning the Yetis. You can see there is also the Tesla farm around that scatter shot. And we got the enemy queen. Oh, sorry, enemy uh, RC. That's RC. <laughs> I cannot see. There was Royal Champion Susie, not the queen. Now with these skins, you actually have to really pay attention, you know? Yeah, I will explain 
everything about Clash Master after this hit because we will have few minutes uh, before that final match, guys. Okay? I will explain exactly how the playoff of working. But let's enjoy the final attack from Marcos Gaming. So Alfonso doing great job. As you can see, the king is already taking down the town hall. He's pulling the CC. So we have lava coming out. Sadly, the queen is in the range of the single inferno, so he's using the invisibility spell on the queen. Queen using the ability. Oh, goodbye to queen. We pop the lava. Now the lava pups are not inside the poison, so he's using a bunch of minions, but I think so he needs loon to tank him for them. Yeah, because they will be dying just too quickly. Alright, now we are starting... With the Lalo from 12 o'clock. Did he use all minions almost? Like he has like five minions on the top, right? On the clean uh for the cleanup. Alright, Royal Champion sniping the infant wooden ability, headhunter is taking down the enemy king. Like now moving for the queen here. They're sniping her, so okay, the queen is down. Now the rest of the loons coming from the 3 o'clock side, we are using the freeze over that multi inferno in the core, we have so many of clean up there, I hope so we can take down that multi inferno because uh, we will be needing these minions and the lava pups, no the loons are patting away, I seriously it's just not Marcos gaming for guys, it will be not a defense, very nice try from Alfonso but you can see these loons have to fight the sweeper while they are pushing for the infernos it is another fail here so very nice try still big shout out to marcos gaming but guys this is goodbye to them in the clash of masters so we are losing them in the group a and congratulations that winning 15 to 11 against the marcos gaming now strat will be facing uh ms esport uh and it will be last war I'm gonna show you the bracket and everything, but first of all, I'm just gonna set up the prediction, okay? I'm gonna explain you how the Clash Master is working. So, who will win? Let's start a new prediction. So, this is the final war of the of today. Yeah, still amazing job from uh, Marcus Gaming, you know, made it. Okay, so, congratulations to everyone who was voting for Strat. There is your channel point. A new prediction. So we have... We have Strat versus MS Esport. I'm gonna again put it on the long... I don't know how far we are. They have to spin, so they will be spinning right now. My voice is ooh. I'm losing my voice. Okay, this way I set it up, everything what I needed. Now, oh, Kohta, thank you very much for watching. Thank you, thank you very much, Kohta. Have a good night. And guys, let me show you. Let me put this on screen. Yeah, the winner has still chance for the golden ticket. Exactly, I am about to explain it. I just need to put it on screen. All right. So uh, right now we have two groups. Okay. Today we are streaming group A. In the group A. This guy. All right. So in the group A we have Kmiwoke, Stephanie, Strat, MS Esport and Marcos Gaming. So as you can see, we already start with this war. Kmiwokers were able to get a spot in the final. So each group, only two teams can get a spot in the final, which will be this Sunday. And four teams will be playing there for the golden ticket. So we know that Kmiwokers already got a spot there. 
Now, we are coming actually to the final war. MS Espor versus Strat. Winner of this war will be also get the spot in the final. So the winner will be joining the Kmi Walkers there. So we will see if it's gonna be MS Espor or is it gonna be Strat here. So this is huge war, okay? Only one of them will be playing in the final for that golden ticket. This one is group B. 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 <laughs> this one is group B. The, uh, this will uh, group B. We will be streaming tomorrow, so we will have Tank versus Banger Gaming, Cutie Fan versus Bad Singer. Okay, that's tomorrow, and it will be same story. Only two teams from group B can advance to the final. Final will be Sunday where all this war will be best of two so we know the queen walkers is there and we have to find out which two, all the three teams gonna join them yeah english is hard also let me tell you what is the prize pool so the, uh, you can see the prize pool from the first to eighth place but of course everyone everyone wants that golden ticket we know that golden ticket already has the x team which won it in the queso cup sunday we will find out which second team gonna get the golden ticket what is golden ticket golden ticket giving you access to play in the world championship okay it's gonna be only eight golden tickets only eight teams can play there so we have still seven spots we will see who gonna be joining x team yeah i hope so it's making uh you can see Strat and MS Espo just spoon. So we just waiting. This will be final. Final attack. Yeah. The final attack. Final war. <laughs> oh my god, my English getting worse and worse. We will probably like 10 minutes. I cannot really see how far they are. But they just spoon, so. It's uh, it's uh, like similar, you know, five minutes prep and 50, uh, 45 minutes battle day, so yeah. Exciting words. Hi Ricky, hello. Alright, uh, actually I think so they will be showing uh, hits, so let me check it. While we are waiting. Yeah, they are showing the hits. Yeah, looks like 9 minutes 30 seconds away, so I'm gonna put you on the screen. Come on, your English is great. I don't know, sometimes I have feeling like blah blah blah. I'm doing like blah blah blah. <laughs> You know, I'm trying to say something and it's what I, all I hear is blah blah blah. Yeah. Only like blah 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 going out. Alright, uh, we know that we also have Rush of Clans in the action. Mm, we can actually see how these guys are doing. Let me put the 8 screen because thanks to Rego, we already set it up. Uh, you can see that Strat cannot play because they are playing in uh, Clash Master. But, uh, looks like the Chasmak won. I swear the Chasmak a good 1 star in that first round, uh, or round of 16. This one should be, uh, is this a round of... Oh, this is round of 16. Oh, okay, never mind. It looks like the chess mag board was practice board. All right, this one is round of 16. All right, take it back. Who's confused? This one is round of 16. So chess mag versus total access. No chance black versus black dragon. You can see there was triple and 91% black dragons with the triple. Uh, green arrow with the triple and 84%. Mini brothers with the two triples. Friends club with the three triples. 
BBT is for with the two triples, uh, black magic is for now with the two two star. Moida, thank you very much for donation over on YouTube. Thank you, thank you. We have Surai with the triple for Dark Phoenix, Lost uh, Brothers uh, with the 98 and 84%, Sam hitting 80%, Sub hitting triple for Team XO, Kronos and, uh, uh, with the 87%, and Rick with the triple. So that's the uh, right now the update about a rush of clans. I love your English and everyone speaking. It goes like blah blah blah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think so that was probably some practice. Yeah, yeah, yes. You are right. Yeah, tomorrow we're gonna see the tank in action. So we are just waiting uh, like a few minutes. For the first attack, and I was saying this is the final war. You totally forgot about the war, and I'm watching Susie's stream. <laughs> yeah, blame Susie Rohit. <clears throat> Oh, Daniel, some of that accent, I have some of the friends and I just cannot understand. Like some of the Australian accent is so strong. It's like, I have no idea what they are saying. Very similar with the British accent, you know? Like when uh, number one is in the chat or the voice chat and he says something, it's like, what? <laughs> you know? My spouse uh, uh, first, when I was like trying to understand stuff, I always had a problem with the British accent. I like, I had to be like really careful. I know that he, I was in the clan, there was a British guy, and he was so active on the voice chat. And we were like uh, planning the hits, and he always joined the voice chat, like, hey guys, help me with the planning my attack. And I would like to help him, but I couldn't understand him. And it wasn't just me. Is actually all the English people couldn't understand him, so they kind of disappear, and I stay alone with him on voice chat. I was like, I felt so guilty, and you know, I because I just couldn't understand what he was saying. I was like, mm, you know, <laughs> oh my god, that was so weird situation. We'll be back in five minutes. No worries, Rohit. I struggle more understand British accent than yours. You are so pretty clear. Hmm. You guys have regal. It's so true. Like sometimes, like I have to even listen to a regal properly, you know. Like sometimes I have feeling that when he says some words, I just don't catch it, you know. Like I have to like be very careful on some words to listen to be able to understand. I really enjoyed the time when I was like in the USA because I have no problem to understand there, you know. That was so clear English for me. But Irish accent is also strong, guys. If you are like uh, talking to typical Irish person, oh my god, guys. It's like, they're kind of like eating the words, you know? They are not like they're... You know? I have no idea what they are saying, you know? Like, Irish accent is brutal too. Yeah, Elvis, it is huge match, and you are right. Try hard uh, will go against his old uh, teammate. Yup. It is. It 
was easy for me, Pumba. Like, I really could understood everything what was uh, said. But maybe I see it a different way because uh, English is not my main language, you know, so... I know when I was working in Slovakia, like, in the uh, bar and restaurant, like, I know I even have, like, problem with the Scottish accent, also that was very hard to understand, so, yeah. I guess I have problem with the accents, you know, to catch up everything. I think the MS is probably gonna win for sure. I actually don't know who gonna win, guys. Like, I'm going 50 50. This is a huge war. Friends, welcome from Philippines. Hello. And I'm not in the clans. I'm sorry. We are using clean feet, so I cannot control what is showing on the screen. Uh, maybe even people like which don't speak uh, English very well, uh, they have problem to understand me because also I have accent and I make a lot of mistakes, you know. Yeah, CCM, you will. Uh, I'm I am pretty sure about it. Like one hundred percent sure. I wasn't. Sh I couldn't be more sure. There's like uh, at least 10 different uh, American uh, um, accents, really? I don't know, maybe I didn't notice that. Like I was in the uh, New York, I was in the Orlando, and I didn't notice an uh, accent there. Like the New York was crazy. Like first, I was so confused. When we arrived to New York, I was like in the Manhattan Street, or, Man or Manhattan, or how you say it. And all I hear was different language. I couldn't hear the English. There were so many people from different countries. I couldn't hear the English. <laughs> For the second I was like confused where I am. Wow. So yeah. No, Kmiwokers made it. They will be playing in the finals. Yeah. Sunday is finals, guys. show the bracket uh, do I have chance to do it oh uh, let me pretty fast do this here you go there's the bracket so you can see the Kmiwo case qualified for the final and now the winner of this world which we are streaming Strat versus MS eSport will also get a spot playing in the playoffs so I'm not sure I'm not sure who's gonna be Strat or MS eSport it's a huge war but the Kmiwo case will be playing in the final uh, which is Sunday Sunday is the final, guys. Dutch accent is also hard. And it's for people which don't speak English very well, you know? Not like very well, but you know, it's like not your main um, language. Thank you, Reed. Thank you. Hi, hey man. Guys, I'm closing the prediction one minute away. So, YouTube, 61% for Strat, 39% for MS Esport. You want to say 8 screen? Here you go. I cannot really read that screen, so you can keep eyes on it. Uh, let me close the prediction over on Twitch. Thank you very much to everyone who was voting. And I hope you are ready for this. This is big work. This is huge war. We have 75,000 from Ohmar on Strat and 25,000 uh, from Lalo on MS Esport. But actually, we have 15 people on each side, so nicely uh, split there. Okay, predictions are closed and we are showing the bracket. I'm just missing. Here we go. <laughs> Too many battles. So, this is uh, the day one. The group A, which we were streaming today. I'm 
And we are in MS Esport versus Strat Final War of the Group A. We already know that Quimok has made it. They will be playing in the final for that golden ticket. And the winner of this war will be joining them. So let's find out if it's gonna be MS Esport or Strat. Alec coming in here with the Queen Charge Hoggies. We are bringing 23 Hoggies, starting with that Queen Charge from 9 o'clock corner, where Queen will have to fight the enemy King. And of course, we are already dealing with the CC as we bring the Town Hall. Are you working, Cell? Alright, enemy king going down. Alright, queen sniping the eagle. She will be fighting the enemy queen. And now we are sending the super wall breaker to open the nether wall. On the top side we have King and something else, who is there? Hoggies! Hoggies coming in here, so King is just kind of funneling. The Queen is quite low health, he has to use the Raid spell RC. Already with the shield, Multi Inferno going down, Wooden Ability right now covering most of the Drago- the Dragos, uh, Hoggies. Good saw and there is so many Hoggies which were low health, we are getting in the range of the Multi Inferno. He's dropping the heal spell, but we need these Hoggies, go inside in the heal, so they get heal. One healer switching, so that one healer will be chasing the Hoggies. King is still nicely clearing everything on the other side. Same story for the Queen here. Now, um, Hoggies are kind of dead. Most of them is so low hell and that Scott should just finish them. Royal Champion going for that visit. I wasn't gonna be following her. King actually awesome. Helping RC with that scatter shot. Now we have like three hoggies trying to clear some of the defenses on the bottom side. Queen will need to break the wall if she wants to reach uh, more buildings. We have only 30 seconds left. Using the loon, sniping uh, the cannon. Alright, Queen finally breaking the walls. Oh, why is she going for this building? There is Blizzard. Kind of worried about time because we still have three storages up, guys. 13 seconds left. Can Alec hit the first triple for MS Esport? Wow, so many uh, black air mines. So we are losing loss. 3, 2, 1, and it is triple. Nicely done for Alec. First triple for MS Esport is in good start for them. Little bit scared for me. I actually thought that we are hitting 99%. No Sally here. Mm, did you sleep, Sal? Yeah, big war, guys. I really don't know who will be joining the Kmimokas there. <laughs> Yeah, 4, 3, 1, 2, exactly, the new counting system. A wolf, I'm good, how are you? Alright, try hard is in. Press attack for strat. We saw the three star for MS Esport. Let's see how the strat will start. So Tryhard coming in here with the Lalo. He's using the clone spell over on Yetis. So he will try to clear all the compartment and of course maybe even get the enemy real champion. Let's see. Yetis are actually targeting her. Yeti mines are clearing the defenses around and as you can see we even pull the CC. Hey man, I say you hi. What do you mean? Who stress me out? Is it nice? How is the new season of Stranger? 
Is it already out? I saw someone saying that I didn't heard good things about it. That first episode was out and it's kind of confusing or something. I don't know. I haven't watched it yet. Maybe gonna try to watch it today. Hi Frank, hello. He's lolling from the bottom side. Alright. Well, oh, I'm confused with these cameras. <laughs> Alright, King is fighting for the eagle. I don't like this queen is outside of the bay. You know, Royal Champion now coming in. She's moving for the multi inferno, which is awesome. Loser hitting the tornado trap front of the town hall but the enemy ice is still alive he's sending the head hunters for her but they are hitting the double giant poop and the ground skellies i think so we got the enemy icy but wow these head hunters found every bomb they could real champion still full health this one's still looking good we didn't get a multi in inferno so it's gonna cause a few uh Rules, but maybe icy can get it icy with the shell boom 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 clearing these defenses now the uh enemy rc actually pooping uh, the lava so this all the lava pups are on the uh, is actually hero i swear queen and the royal champion now with these skins i am so confused they look so similar you know i actually have to zoom to see properly what hero is that <laughs> but what i was saying good job good job try hard good job hitting the three star Oh yeah, I, uh, I should be able to watch that new, yes. Trailer looking good, okay. Yeah, exactly, Tryhard was playing uh, with MS Esports, if you remember they were called MCS uh, in this year, so he was with them. Yeah, so he is actually facing his old teammates, yeah. Hi Suman, I am good, how are you? This is actually now not showing the notification and now people will actually believe that I fart. Chef, I don't like you. <laughs> like it's not showing up on the screen, you know? It wasn't me! <laughs> it wasn't me, it was Coman, guys. Alright, Nacho is in. We have Skeleton Bad Donut. Alright, nice uh, job from Nacho. So we take down the Clan Castle and the Inferno. The mute the mic. I will mute you, Mr. Fart Boy. Queen is on the top hall. Top hall going down. Now we are pushing with the king and the royal champion. I see with the shell, boom, 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 sniping the air defense. Oh, she suddenly has to fight the enemy king. The barbs and king actually trying to help her, but I think so. We already lost her. We should change it, Drago. That command should be changed. No, I say skeleton bat. Bat donut, you know? For bats? I probably should say bats donut. With the S. Let's see how we are doing with the Lalo. I still have big group on the top with the Warden. Now, uh, the Siege Machine pop. So we have Dragon Rider clearing some of the defenses. 
Uh, some of the rules are actually sniping that mortal. Moves are moving for that single inferno. We still have one freeze and one invisibility spell. So that's mean this one will be enough. And Nacho will hit the three star for MS Esport. And they are going also two for two here. Nice to run, GG. Yeah, very nice attack. Like, look at how many loots he has. Very nice skeleton, but donut. That worked well, GG. We can uh, also look on that 8 screen. So you guys can have some... Oh my god. Actually, if the team exo hit a triple, they will be even on percent. And team exo has time. Wow. Try gaming can lose on the on time here. Depends if uh, I don't know who's uh, if Papa is playing for Team EXO today, but the final air hit from Team EXO will be decided. This is three point Team EXO should win. And you can have some uh, update about the Rush of Clans because there's also tournament happening at the same time. If you don't like me anymore, does that mean I don't have to play Apex with you anymore? You don't even play Apex with me. You're lying. You farting and lying. Not good combination. Oh, tribe kiss. <laughs> I am tired. <gasps> yes, because 11 plus 3 is 14 and not 13. Oh, <laughs> I am so stupid. Oh my god. Yeah. I don't know why I saw. Oh my god. Yes, you are right, Rego. Yeah, if the team makes a will hit the three star, they win. Okay. They need triple. <laughs> uh, I'm pressing uh, random buttons here. Okay, let's go. Yo yo is in. you i was smart when i was younger you know in the past i was a really smart girl oh the healers are staying on the board and rip the queen he's oh my god all right so he's using the invisibility spell and their red uh black air mines queen is now forced to use the ability rip that queen yep goodbye to queen healers are so low health now we are uh, using the Siege Barak with the King Padaling. So Vio is using the Super Bowers uh, strategy. Actually, the Loons are sniping the air defense, which is nice. Now, the, of course, the Towel is activated. We are in the range of the Multi Inferno and of oh, Town Hall. The goodbye to healers. Wow, he's oh, losing the troops too quickly. The huge was that he lost the Queen. Guys, this one gonna be defense. I don't think so we can save it. it now will be very important to hit high pets and two star, you know? Actually, the wizard from the siege barrack are helping with the lava pups. Yeah, the last super bowler, uh, last super bowler will go down. Now the real champion joining the king dropping the jump spell he's only 60 pets oh yeah he put like 65 using the raid spell so this is all spells you can see there's like a million traps around that scatter shot we uh, royal champion hitting even tornado trap king is trying his best we are on 72 percent oh i see on that multi inferno she still has the ability so she can snipe something let's see Boom, boom, boom. Sniping that boulder hat. Going for that second multi inferno. 78 looks like gonna be final. Not really can see the health of the X ball. Maybe 79. She maybe can get all uh, that X ball. And we have like one wizard on the top side. 34 seconds. Wizard will get it. So yeah, 80%. Very nice try from Yo Yo. But it is a uh, defense for MS Esport. And now MS Esport taking the lead in this war. Nice try, nice try. Uh, 
Uh, oh my god, teammates have lost. Papa Mogambo hit 82%. It's win for Tribe. Yeah, Tribe won. On Percent. Both is finishing with the 13 stars, but they won. Uh, Friends Club won against uh, uh, Dark uh, Sky. Green Arrow lost against Mini Brothers. Mini Brothers hit a perfect. And Black Dragon won against No Chance Black on the first and Chess Mag and Total Access actually Chess Mag looking good with the three three stars. Mm, yeah. Yeah, the queen was important. Like he lost the queen too early. There's like nothing he can do, you know. Alright, are you ready for the data hit? Here we go. Kingsman is in. It could be regal. Yeah. I actually don't know, like... But I think so. Hi, Abhishek, hello. Alright, so Queen dealing with the Lava Pups. We will be using the Queen Charge Hybrid. Let's see. So he will be Queen Charging the Town Hall. Just setting a nice panel for the Queen here. Yeah, QSFN is showing a win on bracket. It's just that make totally sense, you know. Like, a strat had to make the choice and of course they're gonna go with this one where they can play for the golden ticket, so they... Yeah, with so many tournaments happening, it's so hard. I actually don't know how the teams can keep up. There's just so many things happening at the same time and you have to make the choices. Right, Queen is in the range of the Wooden and the Single Inferno. He's using the Freeze over the Single Inferno. Now we are paneling with the King and the Siege Barak and Hybrid is in. Using the first heal spell, finding few Teslas and also Ground Skellies. Also there's all Tesla farm on that side. Wooden ability is used and also helping a Miners with the Terrain spell. We are opening the wall for the King. So Queen is inside the compartment. Where is the Eagle? Sending two Headhunters to help sniping the enemy King. I did say there was like spring trap, but it didn't sprung, uh, sprung uh, the headhunter, so that's awesome. We are using the heal spell in the middle compartment. Real champion will be using the shield pretty soon, as soon as she's out of that heal spell. We have still clean keep going. We have like 45 seconds left now. The hog is from the siege barrack joining. Should get this, guys. MS Esport will go 3 for 3. This is looking good for Kingsman. Nicely done. And it is throw triple and MS is for gonna keep holding the lead against Strat. Have I said this is important match? The winner will be playing for the golden ticket in the final and the team which lose will be out. So nice job from Kingsman G. All your points are on strat. I don't know. 50-50 I was here. Like they are still in this. Like strat is still in this, you know? Like just strat has to keep hitting the three star, you know? They just need uh, to get a defense. Just checking what was the uh, percent there, 80% from Yo-Yo, yeah. If you remember, like, uh, Kmukas were in the same situation against Strat, you know, so. Am I 
And my slot's strong. The strat also. I strat hit a perfect war in the previous round. They lost on the pets and against Quillocker, so... Like, that was huge match. Quillocker versus strat, you know? Uh, I think so both teams are looking pretty strong. So it's like kind of any anyone a game, you know? But guys, Boom is in. This one is third hit for a strat. And Boom is using the Queen Charge Lalo, sending that Flame Flinger. Actually letting the Queen dealing with the... Uh, oh, this could go wrong for the Flame Flinger. Oh, he, oh no! He made only Queen invisible and not the healers. So the CC went for the healers. And of course, the, he got, uh, the healers got hit by the multi. They're going bye-bye. He, he is using the freeze to keep them alive on that multi inferno. That was a scary moment, but because now... We have the healers very low health. If we find any red bombs, we can say goodbye to healers. Flame Flinger now hitting that go uh, eagle, letting the queen deal with the rest of the CC and opening the wall for her so we can reach that scatter shot. But you can see if the lava puffs even go for the healers, we can lose them. It's a good call to using uh, the minions, but I think so. We lost some of the healers. And so there's like two healers left. Now the queen. Oh, okay. One healer left. That was Black Air Mine. This is not going well. Queen is using the ability. Last healer going down. Queen was able to get a scatter shot. Now we are starting with the king and the royal champion from six o'clock you can see he's using the king ability immediately royal champion still holding on the shield we are opening the wall where is the scatter shot so we can snipe it as well royal champion should be able to get it there is ground uh, scaries but we don't want to be in the range of the enemy queen here there is action happening on the top side looks like we are starting the lalo there we are using the wooden ability and the raid spell i see shield was used i saw it but sadly, she wasn't able to get a scatter, so we will be ending on the scatter shot. And his wounds are dropping. More than dying in the poison. x bow. Now, Yeti Mines gonna get the scatter, but we have still so many defenses left. And this is the second defense for MS Esport. Now, Strat is in a really scary situation. I don't know. I don't know if they can come back after this, guys. Because MS Esport, with the three triples and two defenses. Very nice try from Boom. But we are hitting 81% to start. Yep. MS Esport is almost there because after three attacks, now you can see MS Esport has two star lead. Yeah, looks like that Strat will have to try their uh, luck in the next golden uh, ticket opportunity, exactly. Yeah, I was kind of confused with that uh, uh, invisibility because I was scared when he made the queen invisible. That the uh, enemy CC troops will go for the flame finger, but he, he didn't make the healers invisible, so the healers got a hit, you know? Strat are humans, looks like that. And better, Knewokers already play. They already got the spot in the final. You're gonna be able to see them again playing Sunday in the final. But yeah, Queen Yoke is already qualified for that final. They had two crazy wars today. Yeah. If you miss it, you can check it. It's, the, it's still on the YouTube. Guys, we're coming in here with the Synthe attack. And Synthe will be using Skeleton Bats Donut. <laughs> Usui. I see what you're doing, Usui. I see. Just my war is so so close. I will try to check it. No worries, Amber. All good. No Sumi, not anymore. You will definitely see them playing Sunday. They gonna have huge day Sunday. They will be playing for the golden ticket. 
How are I so seen that? Is in uh, King Quiet died like pretty quickly. We still have like enemy RC there. Eagle like totally targeting them. He's using the invisibility spell, making sure real champion can grab the scatter shot. We got the town hall down. Okay, RC is now fighting the enemy real champion. She still was able to survive. We will be uh, doing the Lalo. Now let's see from which side he will start. Looks like we're going from a uh, nine o'clock corner. It's so weird to see Sinte using the moves instead of Hoggies, you know? I guess he, uh, like he, this is not like the new one, you know, like he is also using the uh, Lalo, you know? But maybe he just like was ready with this strategy? As we know him like Hog attacker, so kind of want to surprise opposite team, I don't know. Oh no, guys. Guys, MS is for probably gonna fail here. The warden is dead. Loose got the scatter shot. We have 55 seconds left. This is defense. And this is a huge defense because we only got like 67%. He probably will try to clear a little bit more. He has some minions behind the loose on the bottom side. But first defense for strat, guys. Oh, Sinte really don't have a good day today. He was hitting like all three worlds were like high pets and two stars, but no triple. Yeah. No luck today. Yeah, this is my last uh, uh, war. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice try from him, but it is defense. Uh, we'll see how much percent we can get. We are on 85 pets and right now still have like 10 seconds. Probably somewhere around 90. Can we get the 90 percent? Mm, I guess think only 90, 89. So yeah, nice try, nice try, but it is defense. So let's see if the strat gonna use the opportunity here. Like, uh, I'm just checking the person 80, 81. Sinte 89, yeah, Strat is still a lot behind on the person, but Strat, if they're gonna hit like two triples and get huge defense, they they have chance. What do you do off your stream? Sleep? No, I'm joking. Uh, right now, like playing Apex, yeah. Just real by rush, show the game workers was 15 yesterday, they only use the stars on the website. Oh, because of the stars? I, I was confused, you know? I was like, am I remember wrong way? I actually can show you pretty quickly. Uh, you can see the tribe got the win. So it's QS Defense versus BBT Esport, Dark Fenix versus tri uh, Tri Gaming, uh, Friends Club versus Mini Brothers, and I don't know who else, but let's go back on this one, guys. Mask is in. And this one is four hit from Strap. You can see Strat right now only with the one triple against uh, MS Esport. Mars coming in here using the Blizzard. So he will try to take down the Town Hall with the Super Wizard and plus get a uh, nice value. Yeah, tomorrow will be for the Group B. Exactly, the same thing. Just my one, and I will be facing Black Dragon. Thank you. Thank you very much for the update, Dragon. Alright, so Tesla fine. A oh, farm fine. We are sending the King and the Royal Champion there. Queen on the bottom side. Let's give a very nice value of the heroes. Like they're gonna clear the Tesla farm. I don't know how far the Queen can get, but you can see there's like two multi infernos around the Eagle. Queen is on the air defense. Arcee going for the scatter. She still has the ability, even using the invisibility spell on her. Sadly, the ground x bow is on the unicorn and soon gonna be on the queen. So he's starting the Lalo. Arcee with the shield, boom, boom, boom. Using the another invisibility spell. So he is investing some spells for the real champion, but I would say it's worth it. If he can get the x bow the Arcee is pretty safe there. She is grabbing the multi inferno with the help from the loons. And we are now freezing the eagle multi and of course the sweeper 
We have still over one minute left and we still have wooden ability. The wooden ability will be used as soon we are getting close to the scatter shot. We are looking good. Let's go, Musk. We go. There is the wooden ability. Enemy queen alive, but she is very low health, so we can snipe her easily. 51 seconds left. He's clean up hitting the uh, red bones front of the single inferno. 45 seconds. I don't know. This is gonna be close. Can we get a scatter shot? That, oh no, we got uh we lost bunch of the loons that are dropping so so quickly. It will be defense. No, they're not gonna get it. And he they need it. They needed to hit the triple guys. But no, it's no triple for strat. And I cannot believe I'm gonna say that. But right now, strat only with the one triple. It's the high percent two star, but MS Esports still looking pretty good here. Wow. Yeah, it was looking pretty good at the start. Yeah. And he's not far away. But very nice try. So, after 4 attacks, you can see Strat with the 9 stars, MS Esport with the 11 stars. MS Esport should get this, and it looks like that both. Mewokers and MS Esport got spot in the final playing for that golden ticket. Yeah, uh, the group is everything is best of one. So tomorrow the group B all will be best of one, but the final, which is Sunday, will be best of two. And the final will be best of three, I think. I have to check that. But definitely semi-finals are best of two. Who do you think you're gonna win on Sunday? So we will have that Kmivokers, MS Esport. Oh my. Uh, I don't know. I actually don't know who's gonna win. Let's go with the final attack for MS Esport. Area is in. And he's using the Zap level, Zapping the Inferno in the middle compartment. And now we're going with the Sui Heroes. Yeah, Rath War, agree. Yeah, then don't let anyone join the clans. It makes sense, it's playoff, you know? So every streamer has to use the clean feed. Alright, so we got the town hall down. Royal champion is on the scatter shot. King pulling the CC as it uh sniping the scatter. Using the invisibility spell, so she's going for the air defense. Right now, Lava is chasing the king, which is good. So a royal champion can clear a little bit more. Have I said this is final attack for MS Esport? Save two star is win for them. Alright, so sending few loons to snipe that a visit tower to fix patting for the Lalo. Rest of the loons are in wooden ability catching the headhunters for the enemy queen. We are in the range of the multi inferno eagle doing some damage here. We will be actually ending on the multi inferno with the eagle. Slammer is patting in the middle compartment so soon. Slammer should start moving for the inferno again getting hit by eagle. Now, no spells left, actually only poison. He got some split, most of the loons going for the eagle, rest of the loons sniping the cannon. I think so, we are good, guys. Ariam is hitting the three star for MS Esport, and congratulations to them, guys. Give them some love. MS Esport also will be playing in the final for that golden ticket. Very nice job, guys. Today we were covering. Group A, where we saw Kmivokers. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Yeah, today we were covering Kmivokers, Strat, MS Esport, and Marcus Gaming. In the group A, these four teams were playing in the double elimination bracket. 
this 4 teams were playing in the double elimination bracket and only 2 teams can get the spot for the final. We know WeWalkers and MS Esports did it. Congratulations to them but still shout out to Strat and Marcos Gaming. Still amazing job to make it to the groups, you know, like make it to the uh, playoffs. So yeah, get some love in the uh, for, in the chat for the teams. But yeah, we will see MS Esports and QueenWalkers playing Sunday for that golden ticket. Tomorrow we will be covering the group B where we have Tank, Vanguard Gaming, Cutie Fan and Badzinga. The same story for them. Only two teams can get a spot in the final. You will find out tomorrow which two teams gonna be joining Queenwalkers and MS Esports. The final is Sunday, where we're gonna be covering the semi-final matches. They will be best of two. It will be single elimination bracket, but best of two. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much, Ray. Thank you. Yeah, that's amazing. Both like uh, MS Esports Knockers did it, you know. Both have same uh, sponsor, so they are like a family, so they're definitely gonna be happy. But let's uh, enjoy the final attack from Strat. As is in, and they're coming in, or oh, he's coming in here. Oh my, he's using nine Yetis, seven Super Wizard, and bringing the bats. Where is FJ? I think so. FJ was testing this one. MJ, you were playing with his strategy, didn't you? Alright, so we deploy everything and now let's see. So King on the left side for that scatter shot, Royal Champion for the right side. Now we are dropping the champ in the middle. Here we go, nicely done. And now starting with the bats. So we have no free spell, okay? Uh, do we have any splash defense? No, we don't. This is like not crazy Tesla farm. Uh, the bats are good. Like every splash defense was on the bottom side, which he was able to clear with the Yetis and the Super Wizard. Like look at this, he didn't even lose any bats. Ah, so that was great hit. Wow, that was actually awesome attack. Very nice job from him, but you can see on his face. It's gonna be goodbye to Strat from Clash Master still. GG to uh, Strat, GG to Marcos Gaming, and huge congratulations. Queenwalkers and MS Esports. How I say, they will be playing in Sunday in the final. Tomorrow I'm gonna see you the same time, but with the group B. Where we're gonna be seeing of a tank, Badzinger, Cutie Fan, and Vanguard Gaming in the action in double elimination bracket. Let me give you guys channel points and I'm going because I am suffering. <laughs> it's so hot here, guys. So I will be disappearing pretty quickly. Let me give you channel points. Congratulations to everyone who was voting for MS Esports. Thank you very much, guys, for watching YouTube. Thank you very much for every like. And that you spun, uh, spun, that you spent time with me here. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. And yeah, I hope to see you tomorrow in the action. I actually can show you that uh, bracket result on the screen here. So this one was that group A and tomorrow will be group B. Yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Thank you. I really am so, so grateful that you were here. Because, yeah, we have a long day. Five wars. <laughs> All Susie. <laughs> With the five wars, guys. Oh, so, yeah. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Check Clash of Clans directory. Speak if someone is online there. Support another Clash of Clans streamers. I wish you have a great Friday. See you tomorrow. Actually, can I uh, give you a sneak peek of tomorrow bracket for the second. But Tang, Vanguard Gaming, Cutie Fan, and Badzinga. Same story like today. Double elimination bracket. Only, uh, only two teams can advance to the final. So 
How's it going? Good night. Bye bye everyone. See you tomorrow.